Yeah, what's going on? Friday night. Tim and Amanda are already in the chat. How you guys doing? <clears throat> Look at that. We got five people here as soon as we're live. That's great. How's everybody's Friday? We have a ginormous pile of stuff right here. Hey, Fiona. We got Fiona, Tim, and Amanda. Ben. And a couple other people. So Thus, a party a, has started. Instantly. Instantly a party. Boom! That's right. Yeah, look at this pile of crap. Hi, Celeste. Oh. It is, it is a, pile, a pile of wow. I mean, it's, it's a pile of wow. It's something. Let me give you just the. I so can't you even can get actually. Any light because of the pile. So you can see the the enormous size yeah, of the yeah. pile i'm gonna get out of the way here <laughs> it's taking over it's, it's taking over the shipping station there is no shipping station anymore no we got a pile <laughs> we're kind of late it's being blocked by the pile not the tea where's the champers it oh the champs i just had a glass but how's that oh another one. Oh. and they needed, give me a yeti didn't know you needed a refill he got me the champagne yeti he got me this little thing that's like a yeti but it's for champagne at the thrift i mean you don't buy anything retail he didn't go to the store and buy it or anything don't get excited yeah so maybe I can oh, Yeti hmm. champagne this. Maybe Although that. I've never had a champagne for long enough to need a Yeti. <laughs> it's for the backup. That's what it's for. That's what it's for. So I have one in the hand. And it keeps the keeps And I got the, the backup cold. cold. Yeah. Because I do enjoy my Prosecco at like freezing temperatures. I would put it in the freezer if it was up to me. Yep. Ooh, I was watching the news. Man. There was some funny-ish on the news. <laughs> Not funny content, just like they were <clears throat> interviewing some girl and her dog in the toy. Her dog had a squeaky toy. Lost it. I was cracking up. And then this other girl was like new on the news. And somebody she was interviewing froze. She didn't know what to do. And she just stared at the camera. <laughs> she was like, we're going to go to a commercial break. And the producer in her ear was like, no, we're not. And she was like, I uh, know we're not. <laughs> I can't believe I never laughed so hard at a newscast in my life. So that happened just a second. What is going on with my hair? Oh, it's on this side. I look like Cindy Lou Who. <clears throat> anyway, we're going to get organized going on here tonight. And um, see if we can get some work done because we're here for three hours. I'm leaving town in a week. I mean, on Sunday for a week. So I'm trying to... Get a little bit ahead of the game. <clears throat> hey, ladybug. Hey, May. Mm, mm, mm. Did Poshmark buy eBay two bad days in a row? I quit. We have had those bad days in a row as well. So you're not alone. That's half of it. And, you know, I redid my promotions and everything. Still, we sent out seven today, but only five were from eBay and two we're from Poshmark, and today we sold the oldest item, and it was assigned this right here. Uh, we sold the oldest inventory item that we have. So that was exciting, but it was on Poshmark, where I have a bot kind of like relisting for us all the time. So look at this. This man bought me this Yeti specifically for champagne. Well, it said you had me at rose. So it's not exactly rose, but it's like the same. I got like a little wine yeti, and I drink champagne like it's going out of style. So, mm. there you go. I'm here for it. Can we do something about this so I can have some light? <laughs> about the pile? Look, I'm just going to push it over a little bit. Perfect. Like yeah, just shove, shove it. Shove it. <laughs> just, oh, man. So, we're here for three hours. We're going to get some work done tonight. We're going to get a little rowdy. I have a feeling it's probably going to get rowdy. In yeah, here. probably. That's good. It's good. Um, Tommy's quitting eBay because he had two bad days. <laughs> I, I, I can see it. It's like, I can just flip flipping tables. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm out of here. Hey, you don't curse in the first two minutes. I didn't curse. I, I didn't, I didn't actually say it. I was careful. 
<laughs> Doesn't matter, we're not monetizing. I always like eBay to suffer a few days after each update. Yeah, the spring update, I saw the, I didn't read it, but I saw the um, notification come up about spring update. And I was like, mm, that's probably not a good sign. Yeah. Ladybug still hasn't done her taxes. Well, Sweet. you know, we haven't either, but we got an extension. See? That's nope. what you do when you're, like, responsibly procrastinating. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but Get yourself it, an extension. But at least we got all the info to the CPA. I yes. Uh, I'm so freaking stubborn that I would insist on doing my own taxes, but my husband here is like, nah. And so we have somebody do our taxes, and we got... Oh, our stream is having issues. Oh, come on. Look, I'm frozen. Oh, this this is your stupid computer. Hey, it didn't have any issues yesterday. Yes, it did. We used mine. Bruh. No, not yesterday. You sure? Positive. No. Oh. Anywho, mm. I'm frozen. Great. Fine. Yeah, let's see if it kicks you out of there. I'm kicking myself out. Kicking yourself out. Let me kick myself out. I'm kicking my own. <laughs> 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 yes, do an extension. Think about it later. <laughs> Nobody needs it right now. Is it on the right? Yeah. Oh, Megan had a rough mom day. Oh, yeah. Clean some purses here for positive chats we also do negative chats if you need that kind of persuasion as well <laughs> can someone please get us better internet or something we pay for the best internet over the weekend i'll do it i gotta drill a hole through the thing and but can you connect us to this computer mm. yeah. hey oh he's saying safari stop using chrome look the guy is telling us Dan doesn't listen doesn't listen. Emily, you know this about it. Okay, so here's what we'll do. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Claudia. I didn't see you guys. Yeah, there were that. It's party time on a Friday. We are we are like, I'm down to party right now. Oh yeah, yeah you are. I'm down to list all this stuff. I'm down to get some work done, and potentially make some money because eBay is slow. We sold seven things today. I was just saying, if you can, if you're just joining. We sold the oldest thing in our inventory, which is pretty, that's maximum stokage for me. It was like a third or fourth. Or oh, you told me it was the oldest. I lies, was, lies, lies. I thought it was. But okay, well, it was it. the third or fourth oldest. <clears throat> Dan is awesome to put up with us. You're right. He is the yin to the crazy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Seriously. Y'all know I'm the crazy one. It's fine. I don't mind. I don't mind taking that title. You. you got onto the safars. See if we get kicked out again. Hopefully, we won't. <laughs> Something about this computer makes one of my eyes look very, very lazy. Maybe I have a lazy eye. Do I have a lazy eye? Look at my. Look me straight on. No. Okay. So we should be good. Whenever you want to go to the listing, just go over to Chrome. <laughs> and then I'll turn it on over there so you don't get like an infinity screen. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. What are we doing? I did the update on the Mac. I did. That's why I worked yesterday, I thought. I'm on the newest OS. Oh, he updated, updated already. I am oh. not going on a tour. I wish I was going on a tour. So my grandma has the dementia, and I got to go babysit her for a week. It's real life, though. You know, everybody's kind of dealing with this stuff in the background. Nobody really talks about it. Well, um, my grandma lives at home with a family member, with my uncle. And we all have weeks. We have to go. We have a schedule, and there are seven children that she has, and so they go every, you know, they cycle, and I'm a granddaughter, but I'm considered one of the children, and one of my other cousins is one, so there's there's uh, eight of us that cycle through, and it's my week, so i got to go take care of my grandma. Grandma week, Nana grandma week. Grandma week, we're doing lots of puzzles, I got her some books from the bins, she reads children's books, she doesn't know their children's books, but we read about history, I got her a Martin Luther King Jr. one, and a... Um, Mayflower one. She loves Mayflower. So we're going to read about that. 
<clears throat> we're gonna do some crafts. I got our lots of stickers from this single bag right here from my junk bag. I've been saving these. So we're gonna make little arts and crafts together. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be sweet. We're gonna do some puzzles. <clears throat> and I'm hoping I can come on at night. I put her to bed at like eight or eight thirty and then I should be able to that's Eastern time, that's in DC. I should yeah. be able to jump on. I'm going home to Dallas to help with my mom. Mm. You know, we we resell, but there's also outside of that, and life yeah. is not easy. Yeah, right. But you know what? We should all be thankful for if you're on this stream and you're a reseller, that we get to make those choices. Right? I don't have to ask the job if I can go babysit my grandma. I just say I'm going to see my grandma. Yep. Everything stops, and I can work ahead of time. I can make listings ahead of time. I'm. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but I could have, right? Oh, Everything man. is dependent on us, and it depends on me. I love it. I I don't think I could ever work for someone else ever again, ever. Do we pay a lot of taxes? Yep, yep, we do. Is it hard and a grind? Yep. But I don't have to ask anyone for permission. And to me, that level of freedom is invaluable. I di I didn't know it until I knew it. You know what I'm saying? Girl, bye. Look at this little thing, damn Stop. Look at this yeah, little thing. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. This sweater is a size 42. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. You leave me alone. You leave me alone. No, don't leave him alone. No. <laughs> Literally. 42. He was brand blind. We talked about it in our video today. Don't do that. I'm sorry. Just because it's a brand doesn't mean you should buy it. This thing shrunk to shit. Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to say that. Sorry. <laughs> you actually said it. I did. I mean, you're right. That matter. Are you surprised? No. Okay. This is. Are you keeping this? Uh oh, are we having sell, sell, sell throw down? Because I will throw it down. <laughs> I might want to try it. <laughs> I will throw down in this debate. Let's let's uh -oh. have it. Let's what's have the, it. What debate? What's the sale sell debate? Sale sell. Oh, no. oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, is, Amanda, are you from it, the Midwest or Northwest? Because I have found that this is a dialect thing. As someone with a pretty strong dialect myself, <laughs> I will hear you out on this. Exhibit A. Exhibit A. You use that sweater on a doll. You right. Arkansas. Okay. I don't know about Arkansas, but I'm from the South as well, Amanda. And we don't say sell. We say sale. So is it how you say it or how you spell it? I'm not trying to point you out because there are plenty of people that do this. I'm just trying to I'm trying to get answers for everybody else. So people say the debate is I want to get one sale versus I want to get one sell. And sale is the noun and sell is the verb. So saying I want to get a sell seems weird to a lot of people. But if it's a dialect thing, I'll give it a pass. I just want to know the truth. <laughs> sell and sale are interchangeable as far as I know. No, Amanda's, Amanda's speaking for the, the unspoken. She's given a voice. I like it. <laughs> Y'all had the same question you would ask that you wanted to ask. Don't lie. I'm just getting down to the brass tacks here. So it's interchangeable. Cool. Okay. Uh, to many of us, it's not. So you might get some hate for that. I don't care. You can say whatever you want to on here. I felt it was Southern. Well, I know some people in the Northwest that do it, like in Michigan and Oregon and Washington State. Maybe it's just like familial. <laughs> Tracy just wants to get a sale. S A I L. <laughs> Boom. Damn That's it. how we solve it. Damn it, this. Tracy. <laughs> That's how we solve it. Look at my Yeti. Yeah. It's not like Yeti brand. It's Mana brand. It's probably Amazon. It's probably amazing. Mm -hmm. It's probably it is quite a bit cooler amazing. than normal. It's amazing. See? See? No, Amanda doesn't mind the spotlight. She's speaking on behalf of many, many people. Thank you. Hey, Sal, why yeah. heavy? That's, that's his thing. Why? You, is you heavy? I don't know, Sal. You heavy? He was here last last night. 
so this friend of mine on Facebook today was like, fat people check in, in all caps. <laughs> <laughs> the comments were the best thing I have ever seen in my life. I want to put it on my feet. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I am not weight conscious at all. Like I freaking never, it's not something that registers as bad or good to me. So I was here for all these comments. I'm looking at this, everybody's like, where are we going to eat? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I swear to God. It was so good. And people were putting all these great memes. I was just like scrolling. There was at least 200 comments on one like normal person's Facebook question. <laughs> Yes. Oh, you know who asked? Cherish said, where are we going to eat? <laughs> Grabs key and keys and sunglasses. It's like, man, if you need engagement, I'm about to put that on Instagram or anything. Crazy people, check in. Yeah, just anybody that self-identifies. Right, anything. any self-identify. ADHD, <laughs> check in. <laughs> so good. Such a brand. It's like, oh, why didn't I think of that it's, before? Yeah, it's brilliant. Brilliant. I'm just hanging this stuff up. Is that cool? Yeah, man. Because I got to clear it. All right, Amanda, Google this. Let's go, Amanda. She Googled it. What's she Google? Oh, sale and sell? Sale includes an exchange at a reduced price, and it is used in phrases for sale and on sale. Sell as a verb indicates the giving or something in exchange for money. Okay, perfect. Oh, he's cracked the bottle. Oh, bless thou. Um, but now I don't know if it's a garage sale or a sell. It's a sale. So, yeah. Garage sale, right? Yeah. We can agree on that. Yes. What we're talking about is the act, like when you make a, you make a sale or a sell. I say sale. I say sale. Like we've had fourteen sales today. We didn't. We had seven. We've had seven sales today, not seven sales today. I would say I'm gonna sell seven items today. Right. I don't know. Uh. I don't know. I never heard it used any other way until reselling, and then like half the people use it. You you know what? Now that you mention it, you're right. If right? I really think about it, you're, you're But totally maybe correct. people that say sell have only heard it that way maybe. their whole life. Mm. I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. This is investigative reselling. Mommy, my mom's here. Oh, Mom, hey, look hey. at this little um, you know these like what, Yeti things that keep your drink cold. Dan got me this at the thrift store, and it's for champagne. Huh. Well, it's for rosé, but look at this. Isn't that nice? Great. Journalism major. I taught journalism for a long time. This conversation is hurting me. Yeah, but we're just talking about it as a, a dialect. Maybe it's a dialect, and that's okay. You have to like let people have their dialect. And then in parentheses, you put S I C. Let people say what they want to say. This is my new shirt. I'm gonna wear this. <laughs> so good. It's like this mesh material. It's, it's such a good shirt. <laughs> okay. Hey, we got a bunch of stuff on Thrifty Thursday yesterday. Mm -hmm. So Dan's hanging up all the stuff we just put in a haul. What? Something else. It was probably sitting next to the. We got no, some this is like perfumey. Oh, That's okay. perfumey. That's better. That, that leather jacket. Oof. I'm glad to know the difference now so the goal tonight is to get one sell during the live and have all my items on sale <laughs> perfect i sell them often and have a bunch listed gretchen true, true. oh we're talking about the vero sorry i missed the conversation about that um gretchen you sounded very british when you spelled noun with an e at the end i love that <laughs> Come on. Hey, Marianne, how are you? Hey, Christy. Yellow Car Winery in Colorado. The Thrift Gods gave me a new Attag's Bowden and Athleta today. Nice. You guys know the Athleta we listed the other night? It's sold today. I don't know what today's name is. Nice. The athlete, yeah. It was like a sweatshirt and it was really soft. Hi, Lindsay. How are you? We got 19 people here on a Friday night party, including oh, my mom. Right. Oh, my mom parties harder than all y'all. So just... That's true. This is a true statement. I can vouch. Pay respects. Oh, 
Yeah, my eBay notifications were messed up the other day too. They told me that I needed to uh, remember to ship an item that I had canceled via buyer request. And they told me to ship it. And I was like, mm, okay. I mean, I literally got a push notification on my phone to ship it. Okay. But I had canceled it. So I checked to make sure I canceled it. And I had canceled it and had already gotten the refund. Weird. Yeah, that's when I knew eBay was a little off. I was like, okay, we're going to start getting auction professor videos now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth. Every time something's a little off, you get this like rambling video. I'm here for it. He gets mad. He gets so mad. Bring your new Yeti because Aunt Ra got you some recycle. Ooh, tell her much thank you. Is she there? Hi, Aunt Gloria. Is there a family fair happening? Is yeah. Nana in bed oh. already? I was wondering if I would be able to do these at nighttime there. My mom's there right now. If you guys are wondering what's happening, we're swapping. <laughs> <clears throat> Look at my sinuses, y'all. Y'all have pollen where you live? This is crazy right here. Google is from Michigan. She's in bed now. Oh, okay. Good. So maybe I could do the lives with Dan from DC. <clears throat> uh oh. Cross country live. Yeah. Dan does not like doing these by himself. No, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't. It's very quiet and awkward. Like I don't like it. He's nervous. Me trying to explain to my other grandma on the phone today what I did. Ooh. I said I've been working. What have you been doing? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well. How do I start? So, you know thrift stores? Yeah, I work in one. Okay, well, I go and buy things. Oh, that's great. And then I sell them to other people. What? Why don't they just get it at a thrift store? That's a very good question. I don't know. I buy it for them. I think she thinks I might be a personal shopper. I, she couldn't quite understand what was happening. I mean, I guess I am a personal, you know, in some sort of way. Yeah. It's curated for, like, they don't have to go to the thrift store and, like, haphazardly look for things. Right. I don't know. How do you guys explain it to your grandparents <laughs> when they ask you what you do with your life? Oh, because he said, okay, you ever want to play a game of life or death, get a bottle of liquor and take a, I'm sure that means shot, when auction professor says I. <laughs> I. He, like, draws it out. <laughs> I have been selling for 22 years. I. <laughs> I don't know if I can, I can handle that game. <laughs> you did. After, like, <laughs> three minutes. Boom. It is kind of like personal shopping, but for our grandparents who don't really understand the internet and that there's like people out there. Right? No, no, no. Uh, uh, it's very interesting to try to put a job description on what we do. And then to tell her that I go online and and list things on this magical place that she doesn't know about in front of strangers on this other magical thing she doesn't know about. I'm on internet TV. It's very strange. <laughs> and I was I couldn't explain it. I kept getting tripped up like, um, so, and I was like, well, I have to go because we have to go talk to the people on the computer. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. <laughs> uh, uh, man, we got a bunch of stuff. Jeez. Yeah, I bought my first Delia's thing. I used to circle all the things I wanted out of the Delia's catalog. I don't think I ever got any of them, but I, I did used to circle them. But now Delia's is back. That's what my friend told me who sells on Depop. She said Delia's goes for big bucks. I'm like, what? It didn't even go for big bucks when it was in the catalog. I think it's just like anything else. Oh, I want to list those here. I think it's just like anything else, you know? Mm -hmm. I just think it's trendy and they just go for the brand tag, even though it's like cheap clothing. Whatever. Whatever. It's worth a try if you're at the bins. You know, that's what I think. All right, I got these baby blankets. These things are banging, y'all. If you can find Aiden and Ananias, I'll show you the comps. These big blankets, they're really good. I mean, for a blanket. Yeah, right. <laughs> or if you want to teach your kids math, 
let them watch Auction Professor and try to add up all the things he's done in his life, see if it's possible in 55 years. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I run an online store. I don't know if she would know what that is. I, I agree with other people. I should say something like that. But my grandma doesn't know. She doesn't use computers at all. She's 93. Not sure if the concept of the internet would. Yeah. Oh, third generation got the creepers. Yeah. Yes. My daughter and son are going to freak. Thank you. You're welcome. One of them's a little lumpy. Sorry about the lumpy. But we sent it to you because we knew you wanted it. And they're creepers. I don't know what a creeper is, but I'm glad that you got them. Very helpful. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to comp these so we get something done tonight. Sweet. <laughs> these are Aiden and Anais. Although the French way to say that word is Anais, which I think sounds better, and it's a French word, but we'll go with Aiden and Anais because uh. Anais Nin is pretty popular here, and that's what people say her name is, even though she herself said Anais. Fine. English major here. <laughs> Anais Nin obsessed fruit here. That's me. All right. So... I'm going to turn, what am I doing? I'm turning on Just Chrome. tab over to Chrome, and then Chrome I'll put it. Chrome. Boom. Hey, Ciro, how are you doing? Um, I'm just... fine. Oh, <laughs> this beer. <laughs> Who's it talking to you? Yeah. I'm going to full screen you, because the entire screen is shared. You know what I mean? Sure. So yeah, just... sure. Your pe your kids like creepers as well? Oh, Aiden and Nice. I got what you're saying. Never mind, not creepers. <laughs> I got it. Celeste found some vintage puffalum sheets at a yard sale. Nice. Puffalum sheets. That's what it says. Did wow. I read that right? I bet those are good. Yep, I did read that right. We've been selling oh wait, this one for two twenty five. Great, great, great. We've been selling um crazy amounts of vintage sheets lately. And I'm not sure, you know, I just pick them up. So I don't know whether it's like a trend or they always sell. I don't know. So some of these go for more than others, and I'm not quite sure why. This one went for $65.99. I think it might depend on the print or if they're, I don't know. Like this one, this B one that I have right here. It went for nineteen thirty-five. I'm obviously gonna price it higher than that, but like I'll still take twenty bucks on a baby blanket I paid a dollar for. Thank you. Right. And this stuff sells so fast. Like every time we list one of these things, I, I don't even have kids. I don't know what this is, but it sells so fast because it's a good brand and people lose them. So supply and demand. Yes, they could go to the store and buy another one, but if this print isn't there anymore. Your demand goes up and your kid will have a fit. <laughs> they don't have their bee blanket. That's what I figure at least. Can't sleep with that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This going on here. Oh, we get to sign into eBay again. That's your favorite thing to do ever. Love it. I get it. Yeah, I am tired of doing my passwords, but I'm not gonna do it. We picked up the bins yesterday. Yeah, we're listing stuff right now. We picked it up yesterday. So we went to the bins. We only stayed for one round. Our it's bins is very here. interesting. I will tell you all about it. So we got there at 9 something, like 9.20 maybe. I mean, we were pretty early for us. And the back section wasn't open yet, so it was just clothes. So that's why we ended up buying a lot of clothes because we were stranded looking at clothes for like 40 minutes. Then at 10 o'clock, they open the back section, and everybody goes back there. Like, what do you call that? Like a stampede. It's like a mad dash. It's crazy. So then we were digging through the hard goods. We found what we wanted to find, and then we were like, okay, yeah, no. And we left. Because if we had stayed for another round in order for them to switch the clothes, you get trapped in the hard goods section, which we had already been through. And they only switch out, like, I don't know, four or five bins of clothes. 
So we would have to do that. And then you go through the clothes and then you're trapped in the clothes section for another half an hour to 45 minutes while they take out the hard goods. <laughs> so we would have been there for another two hours to sit through one more rotation. It's yeah. really weird how they do it. So we just decided that we're just going to go for one rotation and leave. And if we miss stuff, we miss stuff. Like, at least we went to four other thrift stores and bought stuff. Time is money. We don't have time for that. We do not have time for that. You just stand. I mean, everybody does. Everybody's just standing around. Everyone standing around. Okay. We'll just put that on the floor there. It's fine. Yeah, we saw things we picked up a while ago in our hallway. Don't don't feel that. There's the, the monkey, right there. Just don't feel that bad. Yeah, we've tried this since I think about November, October or November of listing as soon as we get home with the stuff. It's been working out well. It hasn't been working out well for a death pile, but the more we do this, the more we realize how much better at thrifting we are now than we were then. Yeah. So our death pile keeps shrinking by process of elimination because we realize that it's not worth listing. When we actually do go through the death pile. We're like, yeah, that's not good. And we just purge it because we were not good two years ago at thrifting. Even though I grew up in thrift stores, we were not good at thrifting for reselling. There's a difference in thrifting quality things and thrifting things that will sell. So we have a ton of quality things, but the sell through rate on them is terrible. A lot of the things, some of them is great, but a lot of it gets, gets purged. And no, it doesn't go to the trash. It goes back to a thrift store for recycling if it's not <clears throat> thrift store eligible. You're keeping a clue of the shirt. Yeah. Okay, oh, I'm keeping this clueless shirt. Just putting it me. Okay. Have you ever tried the Fort Worth thins? Yes. Uh, the Fort Worth thins are good. What's wrong with it? It's just got a little bit of. Not much. Just a little tiny. Let's see it. There's a little bit of stain right here. Um, the Fort Worth bins are, I would say, better in the regard that they switch them out more and they don't make you go into a separate room and try to kill you. <laughs> but they're kind of dirtier and the quality of merchandise is nowhere near what I've found in Dallas. So it's a give and a take. And also we have to drive 45 minutes to get there. Yeah, it's a hike. Versus the bins, the mm -hmm. Dallas bins are like 15 minutes, yeah. much closer. So it's easier for us to just go in the morning, go for one round. I think if we went to the bins every day, we would get more selective. And I think that we would have a better, you know, we would buy better things. Because we don't pump anything right now. We're like in and out. Buy. I'm not going to wait two hours for someone to switch. It's very uncomfortable when they switch because now, especially now, a couple of months ago, it wasn't as bad, but now it's getting pretty bad. Yeah. There's a lot of people there and we're all crammed in this one room and you can't move. So we're crammed in this one room with the bins. We have this conveyor belt of small bins with small items, including a lot of broken glass. <laughs> and then there's these big, you know, regular blue bins full of electronics. Like they put the big, big pictures, electronics vacuums i mean stuff you would never buy at the bins because it's heavy as crap we have at least 12 bins full of that stuff computers monitor that no one it's wants. ridiculous it yeah. really is so but it, this back room is full of it and as a result we can't get to you can't move you can't go through the aisle so even while you're crammed back there you can't be you, you can't shop because once you're stuck where you're stuck you're just like looking in the same bin for 45 minutes it is the biggest waste of time so if you don't check out when you can check out, you are literally stuck. And it's so dangerous because when they do open the door, everyone runs for the door. Even though they're shouting, don't run, it's very, very institutionalized. It feels like you're in prison. Because if you have people, this guy has a bullhorn now. And he's like, run, run. <laughs> it's like, bruh. And everyone's running anyway. It's a little disconcerting to be there. For what? For like you know, like a twelve ninety nine crib blanket. Like I don't know. <laughs> I'm not risking my life for this crap. Yeah, what do we do? Um, I have a bunch of stuff in the light box if you want to list hard goods or 
we can just close. There's tons of stuff there. I don't mind like, whatever you want to do. I was just doing this in the meantime. Okay. What do you want to do? Actually, I'm bumping this up a little higher. Bump it up. Bump it up. Um. Yes. I'm wondering if $100 for vintage YSL leather heels is crazy high. Depends on the style, Gretchen, in my opinion. So, okay, here. Remember when we listed these? Why are these in drafts? Remember these two things got canceled and now they're sitting in drafts. I don't know how, how did this happen. eBay is funky right now. No idea. Like, this thing was canceled by a buyer, and this thing I relisted after a cancellation, and they're sitting in our drafts. I don't know. They should probably throw them out Well, I don't know if they're listed. Should be. <laughs> um, Should be. 80s pumps pebbled leather. Let's see. Oh, there's one person per bin still. Lindsay, where's your bins? That's amazing. I mean, if they're just pumps, I would price them high. You can pay for brand, even though you don't know a brand they're wearing. Yeah, it's listed. The perfume? The Kate Spade purse. Okay. Let me check the perfume. So why is it in my dress? That's the kind of stuff that makes me crazy. I'm like... Yeah, the perfume's listed too. <sighs> okay, eBay. Okay. And then you'll double sell something and you'll be like, I didn't have a cross listed. And they'll be like, oh, sorry. Sorry. You sold it twice. And you're like, no, you sold it twice. <laughs> <clears throat> happened to us like I don't know once or twice no twice or you had to call eBay and we're like we sold something we already sold why was it available for sale again and they're like I don't know you must have done something wrong and we're like no no we sold it on your platform <clears throat> what are you doing bro what's what? going on with the boxes do you have an issue yeah, these are the ones that were out of the window. Why don't you do that now? Well, I have to pull them out, you know, so I can get in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's the constant shuffle. hit sell somewhere on items all the time on my phone and get drafts when I close out. Interesting. I don't think I've done that, but maybe I've done that. It's very interesting. I'm just listing these while I wait. I don't know what I'm doing. Celeste says eBay relisted something she sold to. It sold several months ago. I don't know how it got relisted. This has happened to us twice. And there's no way we relisted it. It was stuff we distinctly remember selling. It was only on eBay. Like things we sold overnight, right? Things that were only on eBay. They didn't have a chance to get relisted even by eBay. It was things that we, you know, when you sell something overnight, you remember it because you're like, oh my God, that thing was a fast seller. Like I'm going to buy more of that. It was like those kind of things. And they were like, one of them sold in October, and we sold it, like, in, what was it, February? <clears throat> and I was like, I swear we sold this overnight. And Dan was like, yeah, we did. There's no way we cross-listed or anything. Sells again on eBay. They did take it off. We didn't get a defect for it, but it took a lot of convincing on Dan's part. He called a lot of people. And it took time out of our day, right, for something that we didn't do. So frustrating. All right, I'm not even going to waste time doing this. I'm going to sell somewhere off my own draft. 
because I just made this. Lindsay said, it takes me too long to complete my listing in eBay. It's an automatic, it's automatically in my drafts, even after I publish the listing. What? I don't know what too long is, but I need to clear out the drafts every night. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Look at our little baby eBay sales. Oh, I didn't put our sales in today. Look at that, 45.57 yesterday. That's crazy because I know we made more than that. I guess it was split between these two days. <clears throat> Maybe we're about to quit too. We're quitting. Dan's about to quit. Oh. He doesn't like to, to organize the boxes. Remember when we had no boxes organized? You ever think yeah, about that? Too many. <laughs> How does that happen? Too many cooks in the kitchen. It really does take less time to list if you can copy or sell similar of your own stuff. I get that part of niching down. I get it. Like if I only sold baby blankets, I could list the stuff so fast. But on the other on the other side, I would be bored. And I might not do my work as a result. Bruh. What? Oh, what? You're having a full on yeah, man. Like, I don't... Situation. <clears throat> man, y'all need a bigger space. This guy says that on our YouTube. We say it all the time now. He was trying to be... I don't know whether he was trying to troll us or be helpful. Not quite sure. Just put that out here. In teaching, I don't know if anybody on here has ever been a teacher, but when you're doing an IEP for a kid, you have to write, write their frustration tolerance. And I always think about that when Dan gets frustrated. His frustration tolerance would be a zero. <laughs> true. Very, very true. My frustration tolerance is a 10. Like I will work at something for 25 years <laughs> until it's right. Dan will 25 seconds. He's like, nope. Mm -mm. Done. Over it. <laughs> so funny how different people can be. So you'll, if you ever find this brand, Aiden and Ananias, you'll know because it's like super um, crinkly. It's like a thin muslin fabric that has some texture to it. And I've never seen another baby blanket like it. I know it immediately. I pull it out of the bins all the time. Dan can attest to that. Because he's always like, how did you find it? His frustration tolerance is kicking in. Just leave him alone, y'all. Leave him alone. <laughs> Swaddles. Oh my gosh, you're such a dad, Tommy. Look, type right here. Look, I got it. Swaddle. Something funny in here. Are you telling me to put that in the title? Maybe I should put it in the title. I do have it as the type, though. Here. That's pretty good. I was halfway there. No, swaddle. I got it. Boom. Knowledge. No idea what that about. I know that the smaller ones are lovies, and now I know that these are swaddles. Thank you for that. Now I know. Half the battle. Oh man, I didn't change this on the other one. Oh, oh you're on your phone? That's cool. You need tiny, tiny screen. Did I tell you guys that most of our YouTube viewers are on the TV? Huh? I was telling them that our YouTube viewers yeah. watch us on the TV. 
from the sky we know that does YouTube. I couldn't believe it. It's like I've never seen anyone with the majority of TV viewers. Uh -huh. People are working on their phones or on their devices, I guess. My ish is so slow. The delay is terrible. Like, I'm, I'm like that guy on the news. Yeah, I don't know why. It's pretty bad. It's really bad. Anyway. Just do like regular. Who watches YouTube on TV? A lot of our viewers, over half of them, over 50%. What was it, 60%? Is that high? Yeah, because he was like, I can't believe over half your people watch a TV. A lot of our viewers have a TV in their office, so they put us on the TV through Roku or whatever, or a Fire Stick. Ooh. What? Uh, and anyway, so I don't know. Do I don't know. I'm very niche show Gretchen now. It's boring sometimes, but it changed my life. I'm only on month five of selling only shoes. <laughs> the 80s is coming back fashion wise. I wear black pumps for work mostly at night. It was sky blue, red, or navy. Okay. Cast it to my TV and listen with my AirPods when I'm at home. That's, I mean, a lot of resellers do that and so here's the thing, if you want to know about YouTube from this guy we know that knows about YouTube, he told us that that's really good if people watch you on the TV because they're less likely to click off. Yeah, so it increases your retention. Yeah, your retention goes through the roof. Do, we have, do you have a draft for this already? This guy yeah, I think I do. Let me check on the draft screen. I keep thinking of the Javits Center in New York every time you say Eric Javits. Did you see the message we got about that coat today? Did. So what? Well, I don't understand. And he's waiting for the exchange rate to improve. When's that gonna happen? Uh. <laughs> Weird, right? A little bit. Oh, I can't find a Javits. I thought I made a thing for it. it doesn't have a ticket, so I don't think we ever made a draft for it. I mean, I can do it. What's the name, Eric? Oh, that's fine. I mean, because I did make the, you the know, comp. the comp for it. Yeah. Eric Javits. Yeah. It's called like the um giggly jiggly giggly. What the fuck? I have no idea. Do you want it? What? No. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for a comp right now. Even though I already have the comp, that's so annoying. I'm not going to say that. Yeah, third generation watches from the Xbox. See? 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 I fell asleep with YouTube on last night, and the guy got 10 hours of play overnight. Could could you maybe fall asleep with our channel on next, yeah, that'd be great. That, next you. time? That'd be great. Awesome. I fall asleep with channels on, and then I either turn them off or Dan has to turn them off. But I watch really boring people when I'm trying to go to bed. I cannot fall asleep if something's interesting. But trust me, there's plenty of boring YouTube out there to watch. And I watch it all. It's like guided meditation to go to sleep. Is that terrible? Squishy. Why is it giggly? Squishy. That's what it's called. It's a squishy bag. I don't know why it's called that. I think this one can sell for $100. And I sewed it. That's why I was over there. Remember, I sewed it. Yes. Do you want me to drop you like pictures one other time? So we can, like, yeah, let me just finish it. this old Javits yeah, no worries. I'm, situation I'm here. taking pictures of like, my first name. Like, fine. That's fine. We're not in a rush. 
for three hours. Boo hoo, you forget. No stress Friday. No stress Friday. feel bad because I sometimes forget to go back and like the video and can't comment. So I don't know where the Ozarks are, but they used to be in our videos. Maybe they don't know about the new channel. I don't know. we got to find the Ozarks. Anybody know where the Ozarks are? Um, there was oh, something in Regina, right? Robbie and Robbie. Regina. Robbie. Anyway, they didn't migrate over to the new channel. we gotta go. I got to go hunt them down. <laughs> but anyway, they found a way to do it on the Roku. They found a way to thumbs up and comment. As far as I can tell, that's what they said. Right? Yes. Yes. Oh, I don't know how you do it. Push I don't know about comment, but definitely thumbs ups. And thumbs ups. Thumbs ups. ups. And you know, I'm less worried about the thumbs up and all that than for me than people watching it. We're getting to that point in subscribership on YouTube where we're getting like mean comments. I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> yes, bring them. I know. Getting some ballsy comments. I like it. I'm like, oh, really? Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Cat started running. Thumbs up and comments are so low on the signal chain now. I feel like that too. I feel like, um, I mean, I don't know because we're not experts, obviously, but uh, the more people that watch our videos, the better it does and the more subscribers we get because eBay put, um, YouTube pushes it out. And clickbait. That's sad. But that's true. It's true. Okay. Um, what are we doing? What is this? Crafts? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I left this stuff so that you could list it while I was gone, mm -hmm. and here we are. Listing it. You should be doing clothes right now. Do you want to do this stuff? Should be doing clothes, yeah. Okay. I think you should do this stuff when I'm gone. It's like, you know, boost. Okay, Paso. Huh? What? Why the deep side? Do you want to do that one? I found it. Sure. It's actually not that bad. It was 20 bucks. Okay. I'm freezing. Freezing. It's driving me crazy. I'm going to turn me off. Hopefully it's better. Oh, it's so annoying. This computer's killing me. Uh, anything you can buy is low. Do people, I mean, I'm sure they never, I'm not going to ask that question. It's stupid. All right, send it over. Send it over. Of course they buy stuff. Yeah, it's only on his computer. I really just, it just. What is this? Oh, oh. Yeah, it's because it's sharing. I know it crashed. What crashed? Whatever I was using. eBay? The tab is gone. Oh. That's annoying. <laughs> God. Sorry. I can't. Should I just get my computer? No, just give me one second here. Live viewers, it can all be bought. Oh, my live viewers? There it is, right there. It's back. Okay, I wouldn't want to buy live viewers. That'd be weird. Okay. Oh, 
like, okay, see, I can't do that. I have, I can't do this. I can't see the pictures of dragon. Nobody needs to see this. They don't care. Nobody cares. <laughs> you right. care. Nobody cares. <laughs> Y'all do not care. They definitely want to see you drinking, though. They love that part. That's everybody's favorite part. They love it. But you're back to them drinking even better. Stop. God. Well, all you can see is your back. Or you're standing. Drink to the side. You have to pull over. I'm already pulled over. <laughs> giant rabbit. Giant Elmo. Oh my god. We have so much stuff. Every day I think we're getting better. And then something happens. And I'm like, nope. I'm not better. We're still barely treading water. Does anyone ever feel on top of the game recently? Please let me you know if you know, if I've ever felt like, got this. <laughs> Is that a normal thing we should be looking for? <laughs> or do you always feel like you're about to sink? This one's sorry. Just hit me. I'm sorry. All right, we listed one thing. Hurrah. Athletic shorts is men's or boys? Yes, ma'am. It's my favorite thing to use on silk. So I have you. Actually, I had Dan contact RetroClean. I don't know if you ever did, but I really want to contact them today. Not yet. Don't y'all contact RetroClean. I call it. Get dibs, away. Dibs, 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 dibs. Get away. Get away. I have um, soaked Silk and RetroClean for approximately 14 days. It's fine. Silk is great. Silk is fine in water. It doesn't expand or contract. It is very very strong fiber it doesn't degrade easily you don't find holes in silk unless it's a very fine silk and it's from where people are just way too afraid of silk the thing you can't do with silk is like i mean you can actually put it in a dryer but you're not supposed to you could you know lay it out to dry you're just not supposed to get one part of silk wet without getting the whole thing wet it just has water spots but it's a pretty pretty flexible and nimble fabric, in my opinion. I've soaked it for two weeks, honestly. I mean, and we sold the shirt. It was an Eileen Fisher shirt we sold this week. That silk coral one, remember? Yeah. Soaked it for two weeks, totally fine. It did get lighter in color, but I mean, I was soaking it for two weeks. So it was like a really bright coral, and so it was a less bright, but still bright coral, if that makes sense. Um, I'm not afraid of silk. I'm afraid of some fabrics, but not silk. I'm more afraid of linen. Because linen, if you like scrub it too hard or whatever, it's a hardy fiber as well, but it can get misshapen very easily. You can get a hole in it. You know what I mean? If the fibers mess separate, up weave, mess up the weave, exactly right. In silk, it's such a fine weave, you don't mess up the weave. But then again, don't let me ruin your clothes. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Hey, Susan. Have you ever had a hair conditioner to the soak to help the sheen? Oh, okay, so this is that kind of a silk. So silk is, you can weave it a and knit it a bunch of different ways. So you're talking about the, like a satin silk. So it has a sheen to it. I have never used conditioner to do that, but I've heard other people that have with great success. I think if I was to do it, I'd probably use something gentle, maybe for kids. Mmm, scarves. something really expensive do you have like a something not as expensive you could try it on you know what I mean I probably do in my costume closet I tried the hair conditioner thing to unshrink wool garments and that's worked okay before that's like you could stretch them back out with the hair conditioner I've never tried it on silk to give it a sheen 
I think if you get the dark off silk, it might shine on its own. It's, I mean, it's a silk worm, right? Like, it's got a shiny thing by nature. I better do this just dusty. I don't know. Let's see. Burner scarf. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You should just buy it at the bin, buy burner scarves for testing purposes. I yes, love this exactly. idea. All right, what is, what, is, what even is this? What? What is this? This is a jujitsu gi. I don't even know how to spell any of the words you just said. Okay, I will help you. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> uh, J I U space. Jitsu. Uh -huh. Gi. From Sanable, S N A B U L. It's a size. S N A? What's that word? Sana, S A N L. Oh, sorry, S A N A B L. <laughs> Sna. <laughs> uh, yes. Size A0. It's got a. What the, is that? The top has a tag, so I'm assuming. Like I said, pants don't look good. Oh, this is the Sanibal Essentials V2 Ultra Light Jiu Jitsu G top and bottom size A0 black ribbon. Yep. It is that. Okay. I'm just going to put it for you on, huh? Should I? Yeah, yeah. that's been washed, girl. Pants have been washed, but the top is. You know what? We need that dye stuff that like brings it back to life. Oh, yeah, back, back to black. Back to black. I don't know what to tell you because you're going to listen together, correct? I am going to listen together. I think we should list them together because they're both the same size. Okay, then I can't list it as new tags. Okay. However, if your wool is felted like the one Dan bought, it will not it will not work. Stretching wool back out. It just will not work. But if it's like a little bit shrunken, you could do it. But like this thing was shrunk. <laughs> it was shrunk, shrunk real bad. Shit. Real bad. I'm sorry. I have to type it in again. It's not even in my space. I have to type it in. This thing? Okay. S A N A B U L. Jiu Jitsu. J I U. J I U. Sorry, J I U. Next word, J I U. Okay, I got it. I got it. God. S A. S A N A B U L. <laughs> yeah, this is quality, isn't it? Size A zero. A zero, yes. A zero. Burner scarf. Burner scarf. So we got to price it lower than this guy. What the selfie rate on it? I tried to click on the soles and that's when it kicked me out. So I don't know. Oh, wait, is it right here? Yeah, oh no, no, no. Okay, this is a very nice way of making this look. I just wanted to show you this example picture. Perfect. I was hoping maybe you would do that. Cause like this is not look good. Look at this one. Uh, it looks like no, not this, not this. This one. Halfy and halfy. How did I Yamamoto wool hoodie and it was not happy yet? Yeah. Yoji. Hello, hi Randy. Um, sometimes it won't. If it has locked up, like wool is is basically like curly hair. Sometimes super dense and curly. If it's like a mohair or an angora or something that's a long, like floppy kind of hair, you can do it. But like. No, some of that stuff just gets like bound up and basically it gets tangled and that's when it's called felted. It's like the hair is actually like in a big knot conditioner. And you know, when your hair gets like so knotted, that conditioner won't take care of it. And you have to cut it like kids. It basically, that's what's happened to it. It's called felted and there's no coming back from it. No matter what anybody tells you. 
don't listen to them. Will not. What's the number on this? 40. 4387. Alrighty. So we've just been thrifting on Thursdays, and then we're going to just do our best to get everything listed by next the next Thursday. And we've been doing pretty well with it. Don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. I mean, like I said before, our death pile hasn't improved, but who cares? Visit the Sanibel store is the brand. Hmm? Literally, the brand says visit the Sanibel store. Is that the brand? Y'all, we sold the Flopsy on eBay. We actually made a sale. Yes. Yeah, it's like dreads. That's a really great way to put it, Tracy. We're doing good. How are you doing, Randy? Did oh, you just put Sanibel? Yes, it's the the website says sanibelsports.com. Because like why would they put this as the name? Visit the Sanibel store. It's very weird, I don't know. <laughs> oh, Son of a bitch. <laughs> family that watches the prison story on end because we are we watch it like all day for 24 hours <laughs> i know every line ridiculous sorry you can't see my screen it's just not working out it's just not gonna work out you shouldn't have put me up i'm not even up here and i'm still like gosh you see this like it's all jumpy yeah, yeah. I don't know why that is. I really don't. I'm just going to have to trade in this computer. <laughs> you had a good run, MacBook Air. Done, though. Let us down once, you're, you're out. We don't play. Carrie, how you doing? We are just listing away over here. We've only done one. It's try it. Try it. It's fine. No stress Friday. No stress Friday. No should I steam some stuff? This is gonna be okay. There was stuff over there that I had already steamed, I think. Oh god. Here we go. You can sit in the window earlier. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. He was. Alright, y'all give me your opinion. There's this lady that wants to move into our house. So if you don't know, we have an apartment upstairs. It's fully fun fully furnished, fully functional. It has a kitchen, a bathroom, a shower closet, two couches, and a queen-size bed with two nightstands and storage, and a dining room table and a TV. Perfect for an Airbnb situation. Uh, it's a really good Airbnb. Dan and I lived up there for six months earlier this uh, in 2021. Maybe more than six months. It was a long time. Yeah, it was a while. We lived up there perfectly comfortably. So this lady is teaching at SMU for three days a week, we think. And she wants to, she just wants a place because she travels back and forth between New York. So we're like, well, that sounds good. Like free income. And it's only three days a week. We have to do something with the cats. This is the problem. Do you think we could keep cats in a large bedroom? Does anyone know about cats? Right now they're in the studio apartment, which is not that much bigger than a large bedroom, but it is bigger. Yeah. 
but not, not that, that much. much. And again, we can't put them in our living quarters because of Mojo. And who's, I mean, we don't know how Mojo will react or how long Mojo is going to be around. We don't know. It's all unknown, all the unknowns. But the, the point is, this would be, you know, we've considered Airbnb it, but still we'd have to deal with the cats. Mm -hmm. um, and we have considered, you know, passive income. And it's just going to, we have this income suite that's just like not, just not doing anything. <laughs> so I'm like, we either need to make it into like inventory storage or something. We need to make that space work for us because it's a lot of space. So I'd rather someone that's only here two or three days a week paying monthly rent. That would be better than an Airbnb situation where we have to flip it all the time. Yeah, totally. Yes, you can keep them in a bedroom. They are rescue cats. It's better than a shelter. That's true. Yes, three days in a bed. Okay, so this lady is is allergic to cats. They would have to live in the bedroom. They live in the apartment right now, and we visit them. But like, they would have to live in the bedroom, and we visit them. And their litter boxes could be in a closet in the bedroom, so it wouldn't be in their living space. There's like a walk-in closet in that bedroom, so it'll be fine. It's a big bedroom. Yeah. Uh, it's what do you think? I don't know. Probably. I know the one wall is 13 feet. It's probably 13 feet by 12 feet or something. It's a big bedroom. Yeah, it's a pretty decent size. And we could put like cat trees. I mean, we would we would like cat condo it out, right? We would open all the windows and put like cat trees and maybe thing where they could walk up at the ceiling. You know, all the things so they would have stuff to do. It just sounds weird to me to put a cat in a bedroom. And Mojo would be on the other side of the door. <laughs> That's the weirdest part. That's the weird part. We don't think that Mojo knows we have cats upstairs at all. We, he has no clue. I've never integrated cats, but particularly with one a 21-year-old cat. So I don't think that's an option. You say the cats have to stay with her. She's allergic. I mean, we thought about, thought about it. thought about it. Sorry, lady. The cats were here first. The dander might hurt her if she's moved in after they have been in there. Oh, True. there's so much dander. It might be hard to fully decal the area. How allergic are we talking? I don't know. Okay, Carrie says they'd be fine in a bedroom. But yeah, the allergies might be. But I'm also allergic to cats. Like, you do get used to the cats you live with, right? I was allergic to Mojo at first. But I'm not deathly allergic to cats. I just get, like, really watery-eyed and sneeze a lot. I wouldn't integrate them with Mojo. No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> Tommy said, endless supply of catnip. They will be so high, they won't give a F. True. <laughs> Mojo has a giant thing of catnip. He just goes and self-medicates on his plate. He does self-medicate. If his mouth is hurting, he goes over his catnip and starts licking it. I'm like, all right, <laughs> go for it, buddy. This is taking forever, I feel like. Why are you stressed? You said no stress for either. I'm not stressing. I just said I feel like this is taking forever. It is. There's a couple stuff on it, too. No. Okay. She knows there's cats in there now. She does. Well, I haven't really talked to her. I'm kind of like putting it off, and I really need to. She emailed me on two different email accounts yesterday. Oh, no. That's how you know it's serious. I know, and I didn't email her back today. Like, I get really paralyzed with it. issues like this when I need to explain stuff or when it's, like, contingent. I don't know what to say, and I get, like, totally paralyzed, and so I just don't respond. That's what's happening right now. We would like the passive income. I think it would be ideal to have someone, quote, unquote, living here, but only three days a week. That's great, right? Yeah, like, yeah. That's more than you can ask for. And then we would get some money. I think probably like eight hundred or a thousand or something, which would be fantastic because that space is not being used. I think I can bleach the heck out of it. We got a waterproof floor up there. I think we got a waterproof floor every time. Yeah, I mean, she lives in New York. Like, there's got to be cats in her building. I don't understand. She couldn't be, like, deathly allergic to cats and live in New York. I'm sorry. There's cats everywhere in New York. You know what I mean? Like, in an apartment building. Everyone lives in an apartment. She doesn't live in a brown or something. She's a teacher. There's no way that she's not encountered, like, at least some sort of cat in an apartment she lived in before she moved in. 
Right. She's not living in new construction in New York City. I'm sorry, that's just not a thing. I, I'm making a lot of assumptions here, but they seem logical to me. But I do need to tell her. You need to talk to her about it. See, you get used to it. It's weird, right? Tracy said her daughter used to break out in hives every time she touched a cat. Now she spays and neuters them all day without any allergies. It's weird how your body adjusts to cats. Other things you can be allergic to and never adjust to them. But for some reason, the cat allergy seems to be a little less severe, you know, with time and exposure. Because I'm not allergic to Mojo at all now. He, like, crawls up on my face. <laughs> licks my face. True. And I'm not allergic. But before, when I first moved here, I was very allergic to him. No, I don't want to get this lady, like, you know, any allergies. But what do you guys think about having someone live in your house? Is that weird? Does anyone have any little Betty live in their house? Other than them and their children and family. The other little bit weird thing is that they would, the lady, yeah, the lady would be living right above us right now. Not the only other weird thing. We would hear her moving during the lives or whatever. Or whatever. But she would probably hear us, to be honest. Yeah, you'd be great with that picture. That's good. I have to put that in a different size box. Why do you keep tearing down the boxes? I didn't tear this. I didn't tear any of these down. There's not any Walmart upside my desk. Oh, which one? Mm -mm. No. Nope. Is it too good for it? Yeah. Who? I, I'm not sure. Should I put that on standard ground 15 plus local? Okay, Elena is yeah. asking, is there a separate entrance? If so, it's not weird at all. So we're going to make a separate entrance. There's a window that can easily, eas a very big window that can easily be turned into a door. So we're going to put a door in the window. And then there will be a separate entrance. And all we have to do is change the doorknob to make it like a deadbolt situation. Yeah. Should be easy to do. Tommy said, I personally cannot handle sound from others out of my control. I would go mental listening, listening to thumps and bangs from someone else. <laughs> Hi, this must be Heidi because she said, hi, friends. Hello. Gotta be Heidi. Yep. How are you? I mean, we're kind of used to it, though, because we have cats above us. <laughs> they make a lot of noise. They're making so much noise. So I'm just, like, thinking about an extra grand a month, how much stress that would take off, off of us. Like, if we had a really bad eBay month, or if we wanted to go on <gasps> a vacation. What? It's, like, free money. I just don't know how to say no to that. The parking would be a little bit of an issue. There, there'd be some really uncomfortable issues a little bit at first. But then we would get used to them, right? We get used to it. Yeah, totally. I can get used to a lot of things for a thousand dollars in time. I'll write her back. Oh, I don't know what to say. Ooh. I'll write her back. <laughs> yeah. <Pass it> off. <laughs> this is my MO. Halloween shirt. Okay, what do I, I say? Michael Myers Halloween? Does yeah. anybody see him? Dudes don't care. I don't care. No, not you. <laughs> no, no, people don't care. The dude's small. Tracy says, make that money. Make that money. Also, Tana would try to see how safe, how sound travels. True. Good, I bought my biggest sale on eBay's four hundred fifty dollars for a vintage camera lens. Nice. That's amazing. Megan says not currently, but we did Airbnb with two bedrooms in our house before twenty twenty. It was hard and a little awkward, but the money was nice. If it was us with a separate entrance, we'd do it. 
See, that's what I think. Yeah, I mean, the space is totally separate as well. The space is at the back of our house. Like, in our normal living day, we would never hear her. Ever. The only time we'd hear her is when we're back in this office. And then I also think about the fact that it's just sitting up there. Not being used. And, oh. But then we'd have to put the cats in the bedroom. How did we end up with these cats? They're <laughs> never leaving. The cats are not leaving. Those are our cats now. <laughs> we have two new cats named Jeremy and Picnic. <laughs> they are never leaving. You know what, though? They're good cats. They are very good cats. It could be. Jeremy is super sweet and Picnic's adorable. So. I think they'd be fine in a bedroom. They're also young. Yeah. Young cats don't care. Yeah. Especially if we got on some cat trees and. Let them take over in there. Yeah. Maybe all right. The shirt is not worth anything, so just go for it. Perfect. He um built them a catio attached to the bedroom. We could put a catio out on the front porch. It would be on our front porch. Will she be complaining about you talking at 10 p.m. under her? Maybe. I mean, we could put it in the... In the rider, <laughs> I don't know what you call what you call contract. Right. Like we worked on here until, I guess we could take out. We could do nine thirty or whatever. I'm with Tracy. Go for it. You can always make the first lease a short one for a short period. Did the guy abandon us? You know, his mom is really sick. So for all intents and purposes. Yes. <laughs> for for the time being, anyway. We'll he see has what not checked in on them, not one time. He hasn't texted us to see. He hasn't texted. He said he was going to get his food and litter. He hasn't done that. And we didn't expect him to, to be honest. Like, when your mom is sick, you're. You know what I mean. You're otherwise engaged. Um. So, I don't know. And I don't know what his mom's prognosis There's a lot of things that I don't know. What's the number? 5238. We're just assuming there are based on his lack of interaction <laughs> thus far. Yeah. It's been months. It has been months, hasn't it? Yeah. Jeez. It's fine, though. The cats are great. Dan takes very good care of them. I don't. He's really good at it, though. And... I just wish we had more time to like actually like engage with them. Yeah, me too. It'd be better if they were like back here. I I was thinking about that the other day. Could we keep them in our bedroom? But it'd be nuts. It would be nuts. You'd be, Mojo would be so pissed. He's he like, oh, have... they get to stay back here. He wouldn't. Know. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, sorry. Pictures coming. Oh. Yep. That's what's happening. Oh my gosh, all the foster cats. That's the other problem, Tommy, is that um, Dan's drums are in the room where the cat would be. <laughs> the cats. And um, yes, we would have to let this woman, but he does practice, but he can practice when the woman isn't here. Like, if she's out of town for the weekend, she's supposedly not here on the weekends. So, if she's not here on the weekends, let me get a cork box, please. You know what I mean? He's not, you don't practice every day. No, he practices rarely. <laughs> rarely. I heard the police already being called. Oh, I thought you were going far away. <laughs> She can't call the police on us in her own house. Right. That would be strange. Also, this woman is like 55 or something. She's a professor in New York and she's coming down here to teach. I'm not sure if she's a caller that cops kind of needs she is. We'll be down here whispering like she's such a. Oh my god. We hate her. 
you guys. <laughs> <laughs> She's watching us upstairs. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Does it matter? Can do you want to fly lay this? Um, you need, huh? um, okay, on fly lay. I don't know. See, it's, it's the wrinkles that are bothering me more than. Yeah. I mean, what you have to do them in order? No, <laughs> of course not. Can you just pick stuff that's not wrinkly? What? Sometimes it's difficult to see when oh, I there's see. no room to move stuff, really. Uh, this thing's okay, I guess. Okay. She's probably in the cartel. Oh, man. I would love to be in an Ozark spinoff. I love that show. Can't wait. For, so we watched the first half of the, you know, the season that was just on, but it is ended it, real weird. Is it out? No, we haven't watched the second half yet. No, I'm saying it's I don't out. think it's out. Soon. Oh, Heidi says my stepdad might have cancer again. My mom is a basket case and they have two cats. Oh, uh, no. Heidi, are you going to have to take the cats? Oh, I'm so sorry to hear this. of the South is amazing. No, I haven't watched that. I'm interested. Is it anything like Ozark? I really like that kind of show. Queen of the South. Queen of the South. Is, that might be one of the ones that had part of it filmed at the Ambassador, maybe? Question mark? No. I don't think so. That sounds familiar, though. I don't know why it does. What size is this? I don't know yet. Sorry, you guys can't see my screen. Our stuff is all messed up. We'll fix it. Don't you worry. Way better than Ozark. Oh, I'll take that recommendation. So size six. Okay. Uh, U.S. or U.K.? It does not say. But I'm assuming U.S. Okay. I thought it had both. I'm sorry. Woman takes over Mexican cartel and expands into America. She is a badass. Have we seen this? No, I don't think so. Tell her that. You, oh, my mom's still here. <laughs> Tell her that you would normally rent it out for fifteen hundred a month. However, if she's willing to share it with two adorable cats, you can let her have it for a thousand a month. Boom. But mom, she's allergic to cats. She says she's allergic to cats. Like you know how you and I both are allergic to cats, but we have cats. <laughs> this is the issue. So is she like really allergic to cats? Also, these cats like shed a lot. It's a lot. They like cats, cats. What's the number? 5239. Oh, Susan says it's better than Ozark as well. Uh -oh. Okay, we're watching that tonight. We need a new show. We're watching this one show. It's kind of about you know, it's kind of like the Tinder Swindler or whatever. Yeah, it's not as good.
Mom, you've been to our house. Do you think that would interrupt our daily life, having someone living up there? Because I don't. Other than us being in the office. I think it's, it'll be fine to get that extra. Because we have another bedroom. We could have a guest room. It's not like we won't have a guest room. The only issue is Dan's drums that he plays once a year. I mean, he plays outside of the house more than he plays inside of the house. That's the truth. Well, right now, yeah. Yeah. Also, if we could get the garage, uh, what's that thing? Attic thing moved from that bedroom, we have a lot more room there. Yeah, that's true. No, especially for just three days. I think there's two. She told my friend Melissa that she was allergic to cats. But I think a lot of people say that. I do. I've heard a lot of people. I'm allergic to cats. Like, if someone were to ask me, are you allergic to cats? I'd be like, yeah, but I have one. I'm ready. Almost. Almost. I'm just thinking it would be a really good um, opportunity because we'd be considering airbnb it, which would set us up to airbnb it because we would learn a lot about how somebody lives up there, but we wouldn't have to flip it, which is amazing. I mean, we could wash our sheets because we don't, we don't really have a washer up there, but we could also, we have enough time to make that happen. We could get one of those combo units because we do have plumbing up there. We just need to get a 220 run up there. We could do it, right? We could do it. I think there's a 220 up in that attic. We think there's a 220 in the attic. So I think we could put a combo unit up there in the kitchen and be fine. Like we even have like a countertop space built. You know what I mean? Under that where the dishwasher goes. Yeah, yeah. It would fit that one of those under the counter washing machines. So we could invest in it. And then when she moves out, we could like be fully ready to Airbnb that sucker. Or a lot more money. Because of our location, we talked about it when we bought this house. We're like, it would be perfect for Airbnb. I don't know. It would just like relieve some of the pressure of having to like have great sales every day. We could have some off days and not be like, oh my God. <laughs> 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 Always, every single day, 24-7, hair on fire. Except that we have a 2.52 million business that you don't know about. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, right. That, that whole other thing. It's just, you know, $1.8 million in shoe sales. That's I don't, I don't even make that much money on it. It's fine. Oh, yeah. my gosh, that's funny. DMC says, everyone who lives in my house has allergic cats, and yet we have two. Perfect. See? And my mom said, technically, we both tested positive cat allergies. However, we both have cats with no issues. I swear the cat allergy thing, I'm sure there are people, there are exceptions to this rule. Right? Matt's allergic to cats, and he had a cat. With yeah, exactly. He was really allergic he to was, cats. He was, and then all of a sudden, yeah, he doesn't have his cat. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that story all the time. This is not, you know, something that's rare. Rare. All right, I'm going to email this lady back. I've been avoiding it like the plague. Do you want to email me? No. I'm going to see something hilarious. Look at daily refinements feedback left for others. I think that may have more you like, what? Spill it, spill it. I don't have time to do this right now. You guys have to tell us all about it in detail, please. Uh, yeah, yeah, just stop distracting her. No, I don't know. Can we invite you on? Do you want to come on and tell everybody about it? Tell the whole class. Yeah, we'll send you an invite. Jump, jump on the stream, right? Who cares? Thrift Generation said, my daughter tested that she was allergic to both dogs and cats. She reacts differently to different breeds. I see. That's true. 
those hyperallergenic doodles. Send screenshots. <laughs> Every feedback left is an advert left for his YouTube channel. What? You gotta be kidding. Wait, that's a little bit genius, though. Stop. But, like, why would you want somebody to see? Oh, I guess he doesn't do, like, what's sold and prices and stuff. Right. I'm like, don't come to my YouTube. <laughs> right. Yeah, that Brioni sport coat you just bought for 400 bucks. Right. I got it for six at the thrift store, sucker. Yeah, we don't we don't need that. that but that's not, that's, I'm just, you know. Now I'm trying to wrap my head around the benefit it would give him. All right, we're going to sell these groove pants. People say you can't sell these. We're going to sell them. Sell them. Big, wide leg, flared yoga pants are back in. So we're just going to market the heck of these. I'm not going to be like, sorry, they're groove pants. I'm going to be like, girl, I found some groove pants. That's the attitude I'm going to take. Yeah, man. Do it. Uh-oh. Oh. He wants to be a YouTuber. He is a YouTuber. What do you mean he wants to be a YouTuber? Oh, you mean primarily? can't imagine the buyers enjoyed spam feedback. eBay wouldn't like that, in my opinion. I agree with that. I definitely agree with that. What size are those? Ten. Okay. See, already, look, these group pants are going for $34. See, this person sold it for $10.50, and these sold for $30. There you go. I am then you watch. You watch me sell these. I do not play with these people in that you can't do this, you can't do that mindset on anything. And I'm telling you, that mindset has caught us a lot of money. Yeah, look. What? What's the inseam on this? 30. Trying to look at the word. What I'm doing right now is looking at the words that people are using to see which ones are selling. What's the rise on them? Nine and a half. Okay, so I can mid rise. Yeah, it's Tommy blowing us up on the Instagram messenger. Okay. That was the police. It's not the police. <laughs> oh, it's all the screenshots. Okay, share them with the group. We need to know. I need to look at these. Come on. Yeah, everything says 30% off for daily refinement YouTube subscriber. Code sub on YouTube. What? 30, every single one. Every single one. Wow. <laughs> that is no shame. None. Wow. Wow. I'm still looking, I'm sorry. I want these pants to sell. Mm -hmm. Were they flared at the bottom? Yeah. I think the groove pants are back, baby. I don't want to sell them the wrong pants, though, right? <laughs> so I want to make sure that what I am selling them is correct because they have new groove pants out now. Oh, I see. That are going for 145. Oh. They're high rise though. That's why I was asking about the rise. Oh, okay. How can you see 
on eBay for that. I thought they shut down his store. It's a good question, Carrie. How do you do this? You probably have them. Had the screenshots. Screenshots are forever. You need somebody else before. Was already yeah. on to him? Still there, no listing. Oh, what's the number? 5240. Oops. What did you do? Okay. Harry's going on a deep dive. Uh oh. I don't understand why they still don't have a leggings category. Those pants go first class. Okay. Yep. Yes. So briefly look at the feedback there wasn't hardly any shoes sold there was a few private listings though oh honey didn't he have like a, oh honey he does have another store it, that's what i'm saying he had a different store too he has three stores he had his store his other store and his wife's store or something like that but a private he doesn't sell it, show his soul, so it gets a little bit difficult. Didn't, excuse me. Past tense. Yeah. <laughs> what size is this shirt? Uh, I think it's large. Here's the thing I don't, I mean, I've been thinking all this for days. Like, why didn't he just sell them privately? Like, why would he go through eBay? I guess because they had no fees and he was just feeling emboldened. But he could have sold those basically on the black market. He could have sold those in sneaker groups. He could have sent them to Grailed or whatever that site is called. We have a shoe, there's a ton of sneaker stores that would have done shady business with them. There's one on, our, one on our street. You know what I mean? Like, it's weird that he chose to sacrifice his eBay business for this, like, side hustle. So weird. It's very weird. Wouldn't you do anything to keep it off eBay? That's what I don't get about it. Or is he just, like, trying to get... It feels like he was trying to get kicked off eBay, like, doing an experiment. Like, how... 
How to Lose a Guy in Ten Days or whatever that movie is. <laughs> That's what it feels like. It feels too set up. It weirds me out. Somebody with making seven hundred fifty thousand dollars a year on eBay going to just like risk it for the brisket? <laughs> brisket for the brisket. There wasn't even any brisket. Buckies. <laughs> there was no brisket involved. I agree. This is what I'm trying to say, and you said it in better words than me. People are dumb and believe him. He has been a scammer since the beginning. <laughs> Not so sure. It's vintage, says he got pre authentication. Now, that's the other thing that is fishy. How did eBay authenticate something which they weren't supposed to sell? To me, if this happened to me, I would be swinging. I would be, you know, guns blazing, lawyered up because they authenticated it. I'd be like, if I couldn't sell it on your platform, you shouldn't have given me the green light. There's something ain't right. I'm still telling you something ain't right. We might have read it in eBay's face on the sneaker chat and it pissed off the other sneaker kids. Authentication is free always. I don't, I don't, to me, it seems so big. It doesn't seem like someone small turned him in because eBay already knew what he was doing. He was sending them through authentication. Right. They paused his thing. I think it was Nike. If this is even what's happening. If anyone's going to shut his ass down, it would have been Nike. I'm like, bro, he's not selling our samples. Like, stop. Cease and desist. He would have gotten a cease and desist. That's the thing that doesn't eBay would have gotten a cease and desist from Nike, right? Isn't that how that would have worked? Probably. Yeah. And then they as have the no choice. As the right. marketplace, yeah. Again, I have no idea what I'm talking about, but it just <laughs> feels it feels wrong. Something feels there's pieces missing. When you're ready. Ready. Well, what's the number? 5241. Okay, not right. Yeah. <laughs> there's your sign. If you believe a person that changes their whole business every month, here's your sign. I, it's, I couldn't agree more. I'm not going to say I told you so, and I know, Tommy, you're not saying that either, but a couple people on the internet like us have told you so. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'm on here, like, every freaking day, like, y'all, don't listen to that. That's, like, such a black and white approach. That's not how reselling is. But he made it seem so black and white that people that weren't 100% sure in what they were doing would would follow, for sure. It's almost like, you know, when we watch those cult shows or the Tammy... Babe Baker show yeah. and LuLaRoe, all those shows have the same thing. It's yeah. the same thing. It's people that aren't quite sure, and then they end up falling right for it. And then they're like, ah. Right? Got me again, son of a. I did watch him though, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't you guys know that. Not religiously, but enough to like kinda know what was going on. Enough to be like, huh? Yeah. Wait, what? What you doing what? Wait a minute. I really enjoyed the I think the only thing I watch religiously, and I mean this like maybe once a month, was the it's the podcast that he would do on the Wednesdays. They would put like an hour of a podcast with him in Tekken Sports. And I did find that pretty valuable because I think Tekken Sports is really, really knowledge knowledgeable. Kind of no nonsense in a way without being pretentious. And I found that really, 
really nice to listen to while I was working. So I'll miss that. But they did one this week. Maybe I'll still do them. I don't know. I mean, I can't believe everything he's done has immediately come crashing down, you know? I mean, no, we can't let it. People in the, he did a vote, this is what he said on his, the last podcast, they did a vote in the group whether they wanted him to stay and mentor people, and everyone said yes. But they wanted Chris to stay. There you go. People in the, on one of the chats was like, that's like having Bernie Madoff stay. <laughs> yeah, you still know stuff, sure. Tell us what to do. I watched a replay of his live chat. I only caught a bit of it, so I don't. I can't really speak on it. Bet you that sneaker kid runs all the vacation at eBay. Maybe. Maybe can't pick stupid. <laughs> Let's say eBay's flagship sneaker authentication department looked at the books and saw daily refinements cost them too much money. Cost them too much money? Oh, you mean if they work for Nike? Or what? What do you mean? I really need to concentrate on reading what I... <laughs> Sorry, you guys. <laughs> I'm like trying to list this. I have no idea what I just read. I need you to explain. I need bullet points <laughs> while I'm listing. Is this a different thing? See, you're like way ahead of me. You're bagging and tagging. Oh, no, I'm, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't be bagging. <laughs> okay, what is this? This is the Billabong Sun Your Buns crop. Sun shirt. Your Buns. Sun Your Buns. I love buying crap like this at the bin. This is my favorite thing to buy at the bin. Because, <laughs> like, brand new is novelty. Yeah. Lightweight. I'm just like, I could sell this in what size is it? Small. I'm like, I'll just sell this in 14 seconds. Let's, let's go. You got 50k per plus pair a day to authenticate. You have nothing to do with your shoes. You have nothing to do with this. So Tommy, do you think it was Nike? I think it was Nike. If this is all true. I think eBay got their hands slapped from Nike. If we're, what we're thinking is true is true. Because Nike has a reputation for that. Fifty-two forty-two. Fifty-two forty-two. Wait, let me see what Tracy said. Tommy thinks it was money laundering. I can see that as well. Um, Tracy, I honestly think it's something bigger that will never come out. Never? You don't uh -oh. think it will ever come out? Like, who was he laundering money for? Is that why he had the token sample sneaker that he hadn't sold yet as an example? You know when you're lying and you give too much information? <laughs> you know what I mean? That that whole like phenomenon? When you're acting like you're honest, but you're like giving way too much extra information. He was like, like a shoe like this. Yeah. <laughs> Seems a little weird. All right. Okay. How do you? I, I I need this explained to me. I don't get it. I get the premise, but how do you launder money via eBay? Let's 
sold goods that were illegally obtained by his magical friend of his, Nike, to come for all that money. Why wouldn't you auction them if they are that rare? True. Agreed. Agreed. Totally asked the same question. Agreed. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, definitely wondering, wondering. So we're talking about Ozark here. <laughs> Back to Ozark. <laughs> Marty! <laughs> I love that show. That show's so good. He's the, the driest he's ever been in the show. I know. So good. Uh, I mean, his memes are like classic. For a good reason. They're so good. That's not what we're going to do, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like money laundering for a drug lord. Well, at least he's an entrepreneur. Alrighty then. Yes. Do not be proud of him right now. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh my god, eBay's huge for laundering. Look at Beanie Babies and VHS sold. Right, right, right. But you're saying the sales weren't there. Like, if he had them authenticated. Is this a fact? We're not... We, okay, so we don't know that that's a fact. I was just presuming that that was a fact. It said sneakers were authenticated via eBay. But that's not a fact. That's a question. Got it. I think it was eBay's executive son, the sneaker kid, who made Daddy kick Chris off eBay. Chris probably knows and is calm to not give the kid the satisfaction. Whoa, that's a huge conspiracy. I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know the whole Beanie Baby thing. Totally get that. I just, for some reason, thought it was a fact that those sneakers were authenticated. Okay, what is this? Uh, this is Tailgate Grateful Dead t-shirt. It's an American Eagle. What size? <clears throat> Small. Do we, in fact, know there is an executive and a son? I need to know this. As long as the item I sold goes through authentication, he has no bearing on the sales price. Ah, 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 got it, got it, got it, got it. So I could put, send in my pay list. I mean, it would have to be something worthy of authentication, not my pay list, but yes, yeah, not a, a rare sample. Got it. That makes more sense. Size what? Small. What's the number? Fifty-two forty-three. Who's the kids? Who are these kids you speak of? I'm very interested in this. I had no idea. I don't even know who owns either. No clue. How they want it, right? <laughs> like in Poshmark, I know Manish. Is that his name? Yeah. Maybe I don't know. So I found all of those out of the same bin. So they're all the same person. I love oh, all the t shirts. Yeah. Nice. And they're all in really good condition. I love that. K 
Okay. There you go. I like on a zippy zippy. <laughs> Stop! I'm gonna need it. I'm dead. You killed me. I can't. Give me your new dress. Oh man. Disease. Oh man. I <laughs> uh. Hey, Ely, how are you? I cannot. You don't even, don't even, you don't need to stop. <laughs> uh, who is this kid? I'm on the sippy sippy. No, I think their podcast, I think tech with him saying like, you don't need new stuff. You don't need a warehouse. I think all that stuff is good. I think that's sound advice. Because a lot of people in this business, they fail and they feel hard because they get in too fast. And he's always like, slow down, slow down. I think his advice is really, really solid for the most part. Although I don't, you know what I'm saying? I've listened to them like maybe 10 times. So I'm not an expert. How many are lot? We do 20, 20 a day. And on the live list, we're doing like, I don't know, I think last night we did 13. And then to make up for the 20, we either the next day or the morning prior, we either list like small things from the light box or we relist things on eBay and really, really relist them, like overhaul the listing, not just like push relist. And we count that for right now until we get in a better position. We want to list 20 new items a day, every day, consistently. We're not quite there yet. We're like at 13 to 15. <clears throat> but sometimes we do list stuff during the day. Like yesterday, we I think we listed like, I don't know, five or six. And that was fine. That was good. Right, except he doesn't tell you he's telling tons of like 90% off to inflate sales. Really? Like he runs a 90% off sale? Like really? Chris full of it as much as Chris. Tech is full of it as much as Chris. People just don't research. No, I don't research him. I don't care. But I think anybody giving that kind of advice, that's why I wouldn't research it because it was sound to me. I would agree with that advice. The one that I was just quoting about not growing too fast and not buying stuff you don't need because really you're just reselling people's crap. Okay, I've never looked at a store not once in my life, don't care. But I will. I'll send these feedback with a code for another 30% off. The nine <laughs> stop. He does that too. Let's drive well. Y'all, I love those conspiracy theories. I'm so here for it. <laughs> Everybody down your ideas off. I love it. Meanwhile, we just over here grinding. <laughs> like, yeah, right. That's all we can do. Six, seven. Oh, they actually say they're not like a. Uh, that's a good question, Evie. We don't. We do not budget. Not even a little bit. Do they have a drawstring? Yeah. Um, they're at 120, right? Mm -hmm. 120. The size? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I appreciate that question, but luck we are very lucky in that we've never had to budget. Because from go, we've been profitable, and our thrifting is so cheap in Dallas. If you do it smart, it is so cheap. 
we very rarely, I mean, I can't remember the last time we left the thrift store paying over a hundred dollars. I, I literally can't remember. And we get, we fill our car up. So we went to five thrift stores on yesterday, on yesterday, you know what I'm saying? Yesterday, what do we spend probably? Total? Yeah. I don't know, 85 bucks maybe. 85 bucks total in five stores. Like, and we filled up our car. Everything you saw in the hall today, plus more that was not even in the hall that we mentioned. So we don't really need to budget because we thrift like once a week right now and we spend maybe a hundred dollars at the most and we make a hundred dollars a day even on a bad day fingers crossed i'd like to see the results from ebay's big sneaker pleasure fair games and market or share i wish i could see the feedback Tommy, i just get a banner store no longer here or something to that effect oh man and does anyone else think when the screen cuts out it's on purpose so amy can cuss out dan for a brief second is it cutting out <laughs> what's happening the screen's cutting out oh no oh i'm sorry that's happening dan said he's gonna fix it i'm gonna drill a hole through the wall let's see how that goes yeah is the number 52.44 I never cuss Dan out. That would be terrible. <laughs> I do get kind of pissy sometimes, but I don't cuss him out. It's a little chippy sometimes. <laughs> yeah, chippy. <laughs> I have a very, like, uh, when I have said something and he doesn't listen and <laughs> ask me about something that I literally just said, I can't. I, I'm like, <laughs> I get very dramatic about it. <sighs> I feel so unheard. I hate it. That's the only time. <laughs> you know, like whatever that law is about the bread falling face down. Murphy's oh. law. Oh yeah. yeah. Dan will inevitably ask the exact same question I've just answered <laughs> every time. I'd be like, Hey, don't forget, could you blow could you put those shoes in that box before you leave? And then we would leave and I go, Did you put the shoes in the box? What shoes? What box? And I'd be like, I just showed you. I literally showed you the shoes and the box. Like <laughs> Oh, but like he's just like cool. that's when I get mad. <laughs> but then I start laughing because he'll do something stupid. <laughs> Thanks. You will. <laughs> you do. You know because it'll make me laugh. I'm like, oh, get, get all up in my face. <laughs> so <laughs> I can hear you. <laughs> It's not bad. Okay. Well, we're going to try to hook at least the PC up to the LAN, you know, hardwire it. Yeah. I mean, we're working in the closet. It wasn't exactly meant to be a studio. <laughs> There's not going to put Ethernet in here. Yeah, right? Come on! There's zero, there's no power. There's no connectivity anywhere. We had to it's like this hole. was supposed to be a closet or something. I know. We drove a hole through the wall and reversed all the plugs in our bedrooms to get it powered into your... It's safe. That's whatever. totally safe. Right, I'm, I'm, doing it. I'm looking up the expensive thing. Oh, we're going to do the expensive thing? We're going to do the expensive thing. Yes. And the Nello Piccinoli skirt. Brunello. <laughs> so you mean I'm going to look it up? Yes! Oh, man.
Yeah, this brand is killer. Yeah, if you haven't seen the haul yet, look at this thing. It's got these super awesome like cleats in the front of it. Thrift store had this marked for four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Yeah, Can't believe it. Thank you for your concern now. Who's concerned about what? <laughs> Tommy thinks that strangers live in our house and we are forced we are relegated to the closet. Well, I mean basically what's happening. Yeah, I just don't know what's happening. <laughs> Although when we did live upstairs it was much like living in a closet. It was fine. It's fine. Um, we live we just work in the closet. It's a huge closet. It's way too big to be just a closet. When we walk in Super. here, we're like, How is this a closet? And then the realtor was like, you could put a lot of clothes in here. And I'm like, I looked at her and dead in her eyes. And I was like, you are right. Dan, our inventory would fit great in here. <laughs> and we just like rearranged it. It, it does hold. I, I, So it has two desks in here, a shipping station, and approximately 2,000 pieces of inventory. And we're fine. And a listing station and a photo, two photo boxes and shipping storage. Yeah. We're great. It's fine. There's not a, I, I look for a style of room, but there's nothing. I'm going to call this a tulip skirt because I believe that's what it is. Big ass closet. Yeah, Tracy, come up. We'll go on a um, uh, thrift trip. We really do have good thrifting up here. I, I We had good thrifting where I lived in D.C., like almost better thrifting, but the prices. Mm -hmm. Like this Brunello Cuccinelli skirt was $4. I cannot believe it. 4 or 5 It's four ninety nine. It was four ninety nine. This thing in D.C. would have been $25 at least, even if they didn't own the brand. Okay, so here's what comes from knowing what things are called. I was able to easily find this skirt because it's a tulip skirt. Nice. And that's a 42, right? Uh, I don't know. Stand by. Please. I don't know what money they use in Lithuania. I'm sorry. I really don't know. I don't think it's zero. But it was 800, whatever Lithuanian money is. I don't know. I don't know if both of them are What is this? Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyway, there's another one listed for a hundred. I don't know if it's the same size. A hundred bucks? Yeah. I thought it'd be more. Yeah. Well, this it, this is plain gray. It's just like oh, you okay. know, you can yeah. work with it. What is the size? Of? The size is it's a US six. And there's some stock photos here with gray, so maybe I can find a stock. We'll see. Um, Y'all, I don't know about eBay Cam. Okay, tell me all about it since we have time and I need to know. Who does eBay Cam? You can charge a grand for people to stay in that closet if you do eBay Cam. <laughs> <laughs> I was planning on going to Houston for a few days, but maybe Dallas. I need to look. Do you like cats? You could stay here, but we have cats. <laughs> To load up now that I can get back into eBay Group house close today. Yay! Congratulations! Right. That's such a big day. Yes. Curious to see how this daily or finance fallout works out with the other resellers who are associated with him, like Tech, Sarah Styles, etc. I didn't know Sarah Styles was big with. Well, he does a lot of like, um, not collab, like Hustlin' Hooks did a collab with him, you know, where they interviewed right, him. Right, right. Sarah Styles has interviewed him before. Hustle at Home Mom work, you know, uh, what's her bucket, works in their group. She's one of the people, one of the mentors. I see. So he is associated with a lot of people. So we're going to say this is a 42 and it's a 6. It's a 42 and a 6. Yes, you are correct. Is it silk? What is this? It is 97% cotton, 3% spandex.
She has an eBay camp. I can't figure this lady out. I really nurse slipper. I can't. I don't get it. I don't get most YouTube, but I really don't get. It. There's a couple people I just don't get. It. Please explain it to me. I don't get it. eBay camp is like you go to her house and she teaches you how to do eBay. Like what? Oh, a cat room is extra for cuddles. Damn yeah, right. There's dose cuddlers. Now the pickets come out of her shell. Yep. Thank you. People associated with camp are not respected in the community that have a community that <laughs> <laughs> could i be introduced to people that have a clue please i need a clue i swear to god we're so cut off dan and i we just over here listen every day we're just like mm -hmm. yeah, we don't it doesn't hit us for some reason i don't know why That's, well, this is the closest we've ever been with this chris thing we're like, oh, we, we, have, know. <laughs> we have too much of our own other stuff going on we've got cats there's foster cats. There's a senior cat. There is yeah. family stuff going. There's all sorts. Of, I mean, we ain't got time for a reseller drug. Get out of here with that. No, but I love it. Oh, yeah. I wish we had time. <laughs> <laughs> What's the number? Um, she rented a house. Oh my god, this is like a bachelor party. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, every time there isn't 200,000 resellers watching this people, it's people at home that are intrigued. The community has lots of clicks. I know, I want to be in a click. No, I think we have our own click here. Yeah. The reseller camp matches eBay. Shut up. Wow. Carrie, did you go? Did anyone go to resell? This one time at reseller camp? Is exactly, that where the thing exactly. is? Exactly, yes. Tony privately wants that she would do anything to make this YouTube thing bring in income. Like at eBay camp? Is that anything? All caps? <laughs> it just has a piece of clothes in your closet. That's all we have. We just have our closet and our clothes. Leave us alone. <laughs> it might be more than 2000 I don't know what our current... I mean, we're at 2400 but I'm assuming some of that's plush outside. Yeah, we got I mean, a lot of the plush. Closet. A lot of clothes in here, though. We do have this. a lot of clothes in here. <laughs> we should, when we do the inventory, we should actually count it. No. <laughs> we shoved this much crap into this much of a space. Yeah. It is pretty spectacular when you actually see it in person. You're like, how did you get that much stuff in here and still be able to work in it? Right. Because if it was storage, that'd be different. Right. Because none of this desks and cabinets and furniture, it's not supposed to be in here. No, just... I got it off Facebook, retrofitted it, and I, I painted everything. I should have done YouTubes on it. You know what have. I mean? Killer content. Like before and afters and everything. I have the pictures. Do you think anybody would like a slow with the elevator <laughs> music? Slideshow? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah, with free stock music. Yeah, exactly right. So even, the, I don't really want to send this Cuccinelli thing first class, but it doesn't like first class. Should I just send it first class? Do people care? People don't care. Good luck. Uh, are you ready for pictures? Tracy and I have been the only people until recently that have ever talked the truth. We were blackballed for the first year until people woke up. What's the truth? Do we see? I think we speak the truth. We speak our truth. Is that the truth? I don't know. Jack. I don't know. Maybe we're not truth seekers. Dan can't lie, so there you go. I try to get him to lie all the time. <laughs> Even like on stupid things. I know. <laughs> I'm like, save your cup so we can get refilled later at Vegas, right? This man can't. He's like, well, how do I? I'm like, just take your cup in there and fill it up. And I was like, we paid for it. It says free refills. Can we get a refill tomorrow? I was like, but it's only supposed to be when you're there. And I'm like, I need an IC. Can you please? I got to take my medicine. <laughs> it's not, come on. It is. It totally is. You always like, and then you threw your cup away, and I'm like, you threw your cup away. I needed that. And you're like, yeah, no, it's it's fine. We'll just buy another one. He literally cannot lie. I'm like, son of a <laughs> just wanted an iced tea. This happens more than you know, which is like normal things that normal people lie about. Not Dan. Nope. Mm -mm.
What is, is this dirt right there? Or is yeah, it's a little schmutz. It needs a little baby wipe. A little baby wipe. Uh, Never hurt nobody. Disagree. Well, that's not nice. Takes a lot of money on to be woke. Oh, she quit her job. Awesome. Go back to my beginning. Whose beginnings? Don't go back. To, no, Tommy's beginnings. Go back to Tommy's beginning. It's not mine. Oh right, I despise liars. Most of me style lies. Oh totally. No no. This woman at the thrift store. There's this one woman that um, I'm an exaggerator by nature. So anything I say, like if if I say something was four dollars, it was actually five, almost always. And because my brain just like rounds down, and Dan's brain rounds up because he doesn't want to lie that's the truth if we don't know how much something is i underestimate it and you overestimate it yep. but at the thrift store anyway there's this lady that's there every single day and i tell you i don't like to talk to people at the thrift store i don't like to talk to people in general and she kept asking me what do you do what's your name and dan was not there and i'm like i need it i need it. and i kept being like dan you got to stay with me until this lady leaves like i need backup and he would disappear and i'd be stuck with lady lou and so I just started making things up. And then he would come into our conversations and figure out that I had made up all. <laughs> I'd be like, in that right. And he'd be like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally. Absolutely. I mean, I don't know what you just said, but it sounds perfect. Because <laughs> I don't want her. First of all, I don't know if she watches our YouTube. I don't know. So I don't know if she actually knows who I am and is trying to, like, creep on me or follow me home. I don't. I don't know. Like, even if it's someone I knew on YouTube, I don't know what her face looks like. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's very strange. It's a very strange feeling. Because I got I got the heebie-jeebies from that lady. So every time I get the heebie-jeebies, I just lie to them. I don't want her coming to my house. to delete a bunch because I have such a potty now. Oh, you have to delete them? That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie says, oh, geez, you are my husband. He exaggerates everything. Totally me. I admit that 100%. You know who else is like that? My father. I get it very honestly. But my father's always like the life of the party. Never met a stranger guy. And I'm introverted version of that, which is weird. But he exaggerates everything. He'll be like, there was 70,000 people. <laughs> you like, there was 100. <laughs> Stop. You gotta admit, I'm not as bad as that. No. Oh, you're drinking champagne too. Here's any champagne. Watch it. She is the one trying to run the upstairs. <gasps> What's happening? No. Thrift store Lubby Lou's gonna move upstairs. Oh no. She's the one. She's <laughs> she got into her car the other yesterday at the thrift store. Oh, it's so freaking awkward. She got in her car, and it was right across from our car. I was like, oh, shit, right <laughs> when we were getting into our car. And so I look up real quick, and then I look at my phone. I was like, is that her? Is that her car? Because I'm always trying to figure out which car is hers so we can, like, be prepared when we walk in. And Dan was like, yeah, she just waved. And I was like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> so while she waved, I looked up and looked down at my phone. So it looked like I was ignoring her. I felt so. Did you wave back? Um, I don't know. Probably. Just, just out of instinct. I just don't like how she um, follows me around the store. I hate it because she's like try. I guess she's trying to learn. I, yeah, and she I, asked me questions like, "Why'd you pick that up? What are you doing with that? What are your plans for that?" It's oh kind of like God. when you go to Joanne Fabrics and you right. try to get a piece of. Fabric. What you making? <laughs> 
So Nothing. <laughs> one time I told her I was a costume designer for Netflix, and I was buying all this stuff for Netflix. One time I told her I was having a yard sale. One time, what did I, I tell her different things different times. <laughs> like I can't. What is this? What is some of these ginormous things that won't fit in boxes? What is the brand on that? PSE. I'm going to stash this stuff in your light box or something. It's pretty cool. I know. No, your light box is empty. All that stuff is in my light box now. Okay. <laughs> Did you know what it was made out of? Uh, yes. 70% wool, 30% cashmere. Is it um, women's? I don't know. It's an extra large and it measures 48 in the chest, so no, probably not. Nothing make men's on that brand. I don't know. Okay, you have to take over. Look for it. Hey! I'm sorry, mate. You're falling. You're Come falling. on, man. I do the video. <laughs> exactly. Let's get rid of this word here, see what we can find. 15 results found. Yeah, these say they're all women's. Interesting. Hmm. Some of these are listed very high. Let's see if there's any souls. All the souls look like they are, well, not all of them, most of them are from the UK. I think this is a nicer brand though. Oh, there's a men's one. Okay. Sold for a best offer on a hundred dollar listing. So I did find a sold men's listing. It's not uh, it's not as cool of a sweater. Yeah. I found a men's sold listing. Okay. But like, this brand's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Like, there was $145 sale right there. Okay, let's price it up. These fisherman sweaters are really popular right now, and I think this is, a, like, pretty much a classic yeah. take on it. It's not exactly a fisherman sweater, but it, it's, like, an artistic take on mm -hmm. it, which I think might be even better. Yeah. Like, a fisherman style, I could put. You found a men's? Where's the men's? The gray one with the $100 best offer. Yeah. Extra large. <clears throat> I've been putting, I think I've mentioned this one a lot before, but I've been putting the size further up in the description in the title and it's been working out better. Because I, I that's how people Google. They're yeah. gonna Google T S E and the men's is gonna put it in the right category in the SEO and then the extra large is gonna be the next thing they look up. So I put TSE, men, size, extra large, cashmere, wool, blend. In, in order of importance, like cashmere is like the better than wool. So I'm going to put that first. I just really work on like, I wish you could see my screen right now, but you've seen it before where I'm like mixing and matching the title. I spend the most time trying to get the title in the right order. And I've noticed my sales are doing much. We have much more overnight sales that way and people finding what they need. If you really concentrate on the order of your words. What's the number? 
You got all the schmutz, right? Yeah. We need bowl. All right, so now we're... It's avant-garde fisherman sweater. I can just, they have like little tiny poles and they catch little tiny fish <laughs> for appetizers. <laughs> In their sweaters, oh. <laughs> their cashmere sweaters on the boats. It's heavy. It almost took you out. No. Man, this, that hardware is no joke. It is no joke. This thing sells fast because we're going to have to wait at seasons. But again, we do global shipping, so you just never know. Did I send you pictures? Mm hmm. I also think a couple of things have influenced what we're doing, our business decisions recently. And one of those was going to the mall when we had to go for a show I was doing. And so a lot of the stuff I found at the mall was very shocking. I actually want to do a video where we walk through like H&M, Zara, and Urban Outfitters. Because I think a lot of us don't go to the mall because of our name, you know, Marisa is probably going to the mall when we go to the thrift. Right. It, I was shocked at what I was seeing at the retail stores and for the prices they were charging. Not just retail prices, but like for stuff that's so easy to find at the thrift. I cannot tell you how shocked I was in Urban Outfitters. I, it looked like I went back to middle school, lost and found. <laughs> right. When I was in middle school, like the lost and found. It was insane. The stuff that you would get at like Deb or five seven nine, like the cheap stuff, was like a hundred dollars, and it was not made any better than the cheap stuff. And I'm like, all of this is still at their stores, but I wouldn't have known to start getting it had I not been to the mall. So I'm thinking about doing a mall video. Mall vid. Clueless. We'll do like the opening number to Clueless. And so I'll wear my Clueless shirt. We'll, drop, we'll shirt. drop Clueless and Mall Rights. The entire video. That'd be great. I can't do it, Tommy. I can't do it. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to convince me. I need more data. He said, "Stamp change over that. to eBay standard." No. Yeah, but don't you have to like mess with customs and okay. all that fun stuff? Okay. Let me thing? just give you guys a bit of fun information that's not an exaggeration. So when I say exaggerate, I don't lie. I just like push it. Okay, I'm not a liar. I'll say something's five dollars when it was six. I'm going to say it was $7 and it was 6 okay? So let me tell you the truth here. Dan's other job that he does is customs. He pushes paperwork and fills out customs for <laughs> all day long. Not all day, for like two hours in the morning. So like he could do it's, it. It's part of it. Yes, but you could do it. You have more knowledge than anybody on here. Yeah. And you're like, don't you have to fill out? <laughs> Literally, this is his job. He imports and exports a good. Like, that's his job. I definitely can't do it. I have no idea. I've never even filled out a custom store once in my whole life. If anyone could figure this out, yeah, it's Dan. Okay, okay. And he's the one that's telling me to only do global shipping. And I'm on only doing global shipping because I know I can handle it. This man over here <laughs> is expert level. I swear. <laughs> he is the one that was like, you literally almost said out of your mouth. Don't have to do customs. <laughs> I'm just, a I'm asking the question. You were asking it like it was unbearable. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. No, he doesn't make 2.5 million doing customs. I wish sure you did. That'd be awesome. Oh, Randy's back. Taking the pictures first. Sorry, I had to step away for a bit. I don't know, I knew, but other two companies and their servers went down. Oh my gosh, is everything better now? It's absolutely the exact same. There is no customs to fill out. The only difference in fees are not preloaded like GSP. 
Elena's saying it's so easy. Tracy's saying there isn't much to fill out. Just try it. I'm, right. You know me. Right. You know me. You tell me, try something. I'm going to try it. I am a, hey, I'll try anything once kind of girl. But this guy over here is like safe, secure. This is why I married him. Because he's a, I will not try anything unless it's tested and proven. And I am not that way. I'm like, I mean, might as well dabble, right? <laughs> might as well dabble a little bit. So if you can convince Dan, he's the convincer over here, then you've done your work, internet. Are they convincing you yet? Mm -hmm, totally. Oh, you did. You won. Now you just have to figure out how to do it. I don't to make wanna. a shipping policy. No. Okay. Yes, I haven't been to a mall in like five years. Okay, see, I'm exaggerating again. Like maybe, no, honestly, like three? It's been a little while, yeah. I hadn't been to a mall in like three years, probably. And um, it was a little weird. Everything seemed so expensive, first of all, what you can imagine. But then it was just weird being in a mall. It was weird how many people were there and eating. <laughs> so, so weird. Why do people eat so much at the mall? The line for the pretzel place was like it was, a mile. It was out of hand. <laughs> it's crazy. I use pirate ships, simple export rate for items one to four pounds and GSP for anything heavy. I'll have to look into eBay standard international. Okay. All right, all right. I use pirate ship and get insurance to have some coverage as GSP. You literally copy paste the item weight value and occasionally you have to click the link on harmonization number. Yeah, I know all about those. See, look, he acting all crazy. We know all about that. I use pirate ships. So you don't use eBay International? I think the question was, I'm using eBay. If it's global shipping, do they charge me? What I charge the customer to ship the item to them? I'm just curious about the process. Okay, so for global shipping, we... The customer gets charged <laughs> way more. The customer gets charged crazy amounts, and we have no idea. We don't care. We just have to pay to get it to Kentucky. So normally it's first class. We pay $4.99 or 387 or whatever it is, we get it to Kentucky. And then there's where the inside of this thing. Yeah, so they got some dandies. You could lint roll it. The inside? Yeah, I could. Uh... I love the breeze for now. That's what my face is doing on naturally. Um All right, somebody explain to me. So I add eBay International, but then I buy it on Pirate Ship because they don't do anything for me. What's that about? Well, it's probably just like regular. You can import all your listings. Sure. I mean, I could or look this up on Google. Import all your sales into Pirate Ship and buy the labels that way. Because they. That scent of pretzels out to its head. It's so good. It smells so good. I'm yeah. Not gonna lie. I select eBay International calculate, oh, uh -huh. calculated, which will be close to what I'm charged with insurance on fire ship. It works every time. Don't lie to me right now. Because that calculated ish has burned us. Calculated my ass. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> every time somebody says the word calculated, I put my ass in my head <laughs> after that. That's not weird. You know what I mean? Like, who's calculating here? Somebody on too much champagne. eBay ain't know how to calculate. Did you not? Yeah. Literally, this just happened. What we just talked about. <laughs> I said, lint roll the inside of it, and this beast starts folding it up and putting it in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna bang my head on the computer. Don't do it. Don't do it. How did that just happen in front of God and everyone? They saw it happen in real time. Oh my God. Well, I gotta just like turn this thing into that. Yeah, that's what you were supposed to be doing. But then you started falling. There it is. <laughs> no, we're not frozen. My face was frozen, but we're not frozen. Found it. Found the hole. <laughs> so this man to... brings the cashmere over. Hey. I say, don't buy cashmere. I don't know. These are good. I'm like, they're not good. They're not good. Never good. Cashmere is never good. 
I exclude South America, Russia, and parts of Asia. Six. Yeah, I think the GSP is very expensive right now. So, with Standard Issue, you still use Pirate Ship. That was the missing link for me. Thank you. Once Brexit hit, European sales were destroyed. <coughs> Sorry, agree with that. There's a guy message us today about how much the exchange was. To Japan, yeah. yeah. Said he couldn't afford it. All right, I'll add it to the listings. We'll see. We're gonna see what happens. But then, Dan, you gotta figure out how to ship it. He also has an aversion okay. to pirate ship. Are you gonna use pirate ship? I'll figure. I'll put it in here. Why do you have such an aversion to it? I don't. Mm. I just like. I don't know. I just like things to be. I don't know. I feel like it would be less. It would just add more time. You know how I feel about stuff that adds more time. It doesn't add more time to you, Mike. Wait, I'm looking for your question already. Oh, I know the real question now. I was stalking your eBay, sir. Perfect. I noticed that you have a lot of countries listed that you don't ship to. Do you have that list somewhere? And why don't you ship to them? Okay. We, um, for the most part, as far as I know, we don't ship to uh, any U.S. territory or um, Hawaii or Alaska or Puerto Rico. And that was the setting in eBay. It's like, and it might include some other things like Samoa. There's some other places on there because it's like a box you click, like, Pacific Islands or something. I don't, I don't know what it says. But we don't do that because we don't do calculated shipping. And we have gotten burned before. We don't weigh our stuff before we ship it. So for, for we do sometimes. We're getting better about it. But yeah. we, we didn't for a long time. And so we would be like, oh, that's under a pound. And if it was like one pound, one ounce. <laughs> okay. So even if it's a U.S. territory, we were paying to zone million you know and we're we got burned on an ice maker one time <laughs> i told you guys you burn me once it's not gonna happen again that ice maker to puerto rico the ice it. maker to puerto rico it burned me bad we had to send it ground it had to go on a boat and it cost us 90 dollars. and then the guy said it didn't work when it got there and he I, he said it was instead of making full cubes it was making half moons and he wanted to return it and we would have to pay $90 to get it back. And he knew it. So he made up an excuse so that he could get a free ice maker. And I said, no more. That will never happen to me again. Ever in my life, not going to happen. Because we sent it to him for $90 because I felt bad because they had an earthquake. No. Hurricane. Yes. <laughs> I like, that didn't sound right. That hurricane. And I was like, this man just needs his ice. And we sent it to him almost at a loss. I think we made $5 on it. And then this B wanted us to pay $90 in shipping to get it back. I said, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Anyway, that's why we don't do that. <clears throat> we were getting burned on things that weren't first class. Big time burn. Burned. And if you do your shipping a different way, I'm sure it's fine. But the way we do it, it was not fine. And there was nothing we could do about it. We tried everything on the planet. We tried everything. You With heavy stuff, you can't go UPS. Because mm, they don't drive there. Has to go on a boat. So we just stopped shipping there. It's been great. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't noticed a drop in sales. Have you? No. What is this? We also... Uh, that's the other thing. We noticed a lot of returns from those places because the shipping was high and it would take a long time that they knew we weren't. We ended up refunding people a lot because we didn't want to pay for the return shipping. These are level 99 shorts or have a style number. Okay. NL1460. I would play safe to half cubes, <laughs> <laughs> basically. <laughs> I was only doing the lower 48, but I've just started to allow global shipping, so I hope I don't get burned on that. I mean, global shipping's fine. Yeah, if you I use the GSP, shipping. you you will never get burned. 
Um, no, no, you're right, Tommy, but I'm talking about U.S. priority is is very expensive. Yeah. He's saying U.S. priority mail to Hawaii, Guam, or Alaska is no different than California. Totally get it. Totally understand what you're saying. But normally we use UPS ground, and we can't use it to those areas. Yeah, this was like a, you know, the box was like massive. And, and heavy. heavy. And so for that, we save like sometimes like 50%. I was yeah. going to say 70. I try to I try to check myself. <laughs> we'll save like 70% going UPS versus priority mail. And so that's why we stopped offering to those countries because we had to pay priority rates and they're expensive with that heavy stuff we were shipping. And you can't, there's no other way to get it there. Right. I mean, you could ship at UPS, but it would be like air freight. Air, air. air. And then you're like crazy expensive, right? Yeah. So there was no other way. What time is this? 28. Anyway, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Priority is too expensive for heavy things. In our opinion, we use UPS every time. And that's not an option, so we just took it off the table. So there may be a better slash different way to go about doing that, but... And they're linen? They're, they're linen blend, yeah. Right, so you only include this area on heavy items, but first class and priority go everywhere. Yeah, that's true, but that was just me being pissy. <laughs> I can put those back on. You're 100% right about that. I just took it off of everything because I was so mad. I have a temper, if you haven't noticed. I was so <laughs> mad. I felt, you know, I, you know when your parents say, I'm not mad, I'm just hurt. You're just disappointed. <laughs> I was disappointed. <laughs> this guy tried to scam us, and I was trying to give him an ice maker to help him. <laughs> I was so upset about it. I don't want to talk about it anymore. You were, you were mad. I was. I went right uh, to those shipping policies, and I was like, oh, no. You done messed again. up, man. Right? <laughs> I could put them back on first class. You're 100% correct. I was just, I was just pissed. Ready? Uh, what's the number? Uh, 5246. Pissed. All right, yeah. Randy said he works with what as a programmer, right? You're an IT guy? Maybe you have to look at the camera. You, are you an <laughs> IT guy? Amateur hour over here. Sorry. Yeah. Because I want to know if he knows about the spice racks. Spice rack. Spice racks. Huh? The little plush you found. Oh, spice racks. Yeah. I <laughs> I thought you were Canadian trying to say spice rack, eh? <laughs> no. Oh man. Ooh, that's funny. I found a I found a bolo, a programmer bolo. Okay, cool. Yeah, because look at this thing. Amy found a Spice Works Spice Rex. And apparently, in IT guys want that. We don't know it, why. There's a limited run of them. He said a size 8 or 20? 28. We are not that smart. I'm really, really not. We're just like, not. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. Whatever. Utility. <sighs> yeah, exactly. So Matt saying flat rate boxes are your friends and shipping to those places. Yeah, yeah, if it would have fit in a flat rate, we would have freaking used it for sure. Yeah, there's no way this thing was going to fit in the flat rate. One person ruined it for everyone. I know. I'm so mad. <laughs> oh my god, I don't think I've ever been that mad on a reselling day in my life, except for the booth day. I was mad that day too. Oh yeah, that day sucked. I get real mad when people scam us with lies. I and then eBay like kind of fights you on it. It makes me crazy. No good. Oh my god, I was so mad that day. It's crazy. Oh, 
crying like at my desk. What do you mean shipping? Like the shipping price? Because I agree with you. He has employees for his IT. I love it. <laughs> but do they try to send them back because they know? I guess the shoes. Never mind. It's not that big of a deal. An issue. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We were shipping heavy electronics consistently to Puerto Rico. We did it a bunch and it was always like a <laughs> it was always the thing we probably have a video of it same thing with hawaii we we're shipping electronics there too yeah means offering shipping to as many local locations as possible. You write 100 percent and that's why I'm still trying to keep my listings, casting the biggest net you can for your buyer base. Yep. Knowing how to sell to the most amount of people in the world at the best price. Totally got it. Yep. There's a hundred hacks for shipping probably. <sighs> it's so true. I'm just like so stressed. I can't even talk about it. Extra small? Yeah. It's definitely what we get the most questions on, period, end of story. Shipping. Everyone yeah. has questions on shipping. And no one wants to do like the research. A lot of the answers from shipping come just from doing the research. Like, like simple Google search or an eBay forum. People want Poshmark. They're so spoiled. It's kind of like how people got spoiled with shipping from Amazon. People got shipping, resellers got spoiled by Poshmark because you don't have to think about it at all. That's true. You're right about that. <clears throat> but to me, if you're not going to like hustle enough, I mean, sure, we can ask questions in this and like go back and forth and live streams and whatever. But if you're not a hustler enough to like find basic answers, I'm like, this is not the job for you. You feel? Keep the apartment for the cats, okay? You know, they're doing good. <laughs> fine. Listing DVDs for 99 cents with $1 shipping. I understand that 100%. I understand that. I, it took me a while to just think about it, but you can't really do eBay without feedback. And sometimes you have to take a loss the first couple of times to get feedback going on the store. That's what I think a lot of that is about. Uh, and a conversion is on the eBay algorithm, a conversion is like gold. So sometimes a conversion will help you make bigger sales. I've never looked at those people's stores though. So I could be absolutely wrong about that. What's the number on the previous thing you're ahead of? 5247. I want a skirt. Yeah, 5247. Where's the skirt? I already put it in the thing. So you're ahead of me? No. I just put a sticker on the bag. But not this bag. No. <laughs> no. no.
I think we have gotten some sales tonight. Yeah. While we've been on here. It feels like our store, I don't think our store is like on on, but it feels yeah. on, if you know what I mean. It's not normal, but it feels better. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh no, Tracy, it's the champagne and it does it every time. I've been searching for the size and I'm already collects the only jacket for way too long. It's literally the first thing on the tag. Oh no, no. I've been there. Dan's been there too. Yep. No, no, Randy, you ask like perfectly normal questions. There are some people that literally put the question, how do I ship on eBay on our YouTube videos after we've been shipping for three months? Tell me what I need to know to ship on eBay. I'm starting next week. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not cut off for the fans are right now. I think we all ask each other questions. I think that's great when you're trying to figure out the best way of doing something. When you're asking somebody to hand you something on a silver platter with no work, I don't play that game. I find it kind of rude, actually. Start calling people out on their comments like they do us. Yeah. Rude. It's just like a fan-made shirt. It's, I don't know. You know, because they're 25th, they couldn't do it. Right. Because it was 2020. So they had to do a 26th. And should we just send this to my cousin? Yeah, should. Try to do a Google image. Maybe it's like rare. I just need more champagne. <laughs> I'm going to pirate ship, put my zip code, and then California zip, and change the size and weight ounce by ounce to determine the cost of all the sizes and weight. I'm a hands-on so I can see it for myself. That's a really good idea. If Dan would ever log on pot, uh, pirate ship. He has a vendetta. Nothing against production. Oh, I don't understand that on Mercari either. Somebody on Mercari is selling things for $1 free shipping. Beanie Babies. Um, okay. Sure. Hello, form is content. What's your real name again? Do you remember? Don't. I don't remember. No. Man, I wish I had a team of people. Actually, I wouldn't. I'd be like, you didn't do it right. No. Wrong. I'm a little bit of a control freak. Are you going to just download all the raids from the pirate ship and hang it up? If new to learn it. Oh my god, that's why I'm always looking at my cabinets. We have rates hung up all over on top of our cabinets where you can't see them from the people are always like, What are you looking up at? I'm like, our shipping rates. <laughs> Leave me alone. We gotta have cheat sheets. Can't remember everything. You just looked at it. <laughs> I was like, Oh yeah, what is up there? Are we definitely selling this? Sure, it's weird. I think it's a bootleg. I wanted you to Google image. Feels like a bootleg. We got a we got a message about the duck. Seriously? Nice. I don't know what it says. Hi. I looked at your bird. <laughs> oh no, this is so sorry. This is so sad, y'all. Oh no. Oh no. So we saw, you know, that big wooden duck that we put up for sale. Hi, I looked at your bird and eyes to my side. How did the de decorative decoy get so busted up? <laughs> Bill repair, cracked in more than one place, scratches, and that's on a decorative bird. You don't think that's odd? So I think maybe my $200 offer is generous, but you have to be the judge. Thanks again, Bob. Wow. Sorry if I've been wasting your time. Double exclamation mark. Wow, thanks, Bob. He's not that busted up. Wait, wait, a, yeah, God. So the point. Way of to tell us nicely that we're selling a piece of junk. The, I mean, I'd pay two hundred dollars for it. The um, the fact of the matter is, these ducks are used to literally as a decoy to bring in birds so you can shoot them. Yeah. Like the birds aren't going to be like, is that a crack in the? Mm, it looks like a repair job. <laughs> The thing that's valuable about this duck is that it looks so realistic and it's huge. Like, 
that's really huge for a deck decoy. Yeah. That's really good. Really huge. Like, very... This thing is massive. Come here, guy. Well, he's worth two hundred dollars according to Bill. I'm gonna re-break his bill. <laughs> bill. Exactly. Look at this thing. Huh. Oh, that's, that's a duck. That thing is not busted. He needs a shot, at Bill. He's asking himself. <laughs> Sounds like that song. I do as in here. Dance, give a fuck. So okay, uh, it is this is a real shirt, but uh, the back is different on the Foo Fighters website. There's something on the back, and there's nothing on the back of this one. Yeah, I need some Foo Fighters. All right, cool. So, bye, we'll Randy. We'll take this down. We'll give it to Jen. Damn, they just handed our asses to us. This Man. Yeah, right. Where's his offer though? Oh no. Oh, someone bought the Dungeon and Dragons. Which one? The good one. The book? Yeah, one sixty nine ninety six. <laughs> Boom. Yes. Okay, so we did get an offer from Bill for two hundred dollars for the duck plus fifty dollars shipping. Okay. Now, why does Bill want a busted ass duck? Yeah, Bill. Eh? See, this is what I don't understand with offers like this. Like, if he hadn't sent the message, I would have taken the two hundred dollar offer. But now I'm like, no, you can you can't be a problem, Bill. <laughs> Bill, you is a problem. Right? He's going to get it. He's going to be like, it was inadequately repaired. Right. I would like to return it. Or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm making assumptions about Tracy, it. Tracy, exactly. That's what I said. So he can scam you. I agree. If he hadn't sent that message, I paid three ninety nine for that duck. Or six, I don't know. I paid like six ninety nine for the duck. No, it was like 20 bucks. Was it? Yeah. See, I exaggerate. <laughs> that was a long time ago. You got to give me that one. Yes. I knew it wasn't $200. I didn't pay up. I paid $20 for that duck. I think it was on sale. I'll have to ask Chelsea. I was with her. <laughs> and it's beautiful. Even it's with amazing. the repaired beak, it's beautiful. It had some scratches on it. It sits outside. <laughs> Does Bill not understand the, per the thing sits? Well, it did call it decorative. It's decorative for birds. It's a decoy. I literally called it a duck decoy. You know what I mean? So of course it's going to have some... Yeah. Issues. How did it get smashed up, Bill? I put it in a check luggage. I'm sorry. <laughs> we put it in an IKEA bag wrapped in clothing and we checked it. So I'm not that smart. Okay? <laughs> I'm not that smart. I thought this thing is like a tank. It's not gonna break. <laughs> I was wrong, Bill. The bill broke. Right. Freaking broke, Bill. <laughs> okay. So now I don't know what to do with this $200, $200 thing. We have two questions on this. I didn't ever sell two questions on that. Well, Bill's one of them. This says Bill. Did Bill send it twice? Maybe. He really did. What's it? Is this the other one? Is it, click on it. Is it the same one? No. <laughs> oh, is this Bob? Is Bob the same as Bill? Oh, his name is Bob. I'm sorry. His name's not Bill. So he sent us two messages. Yeah, this one. Oh, oh this one's one. good. As you can see on the same page, $175 Tom Tabor Kyle Jr. canvas back decoy minus the heavyweight log in all caps, exclamation mark, times six. To me, it's just extra shipping, like a million exclamation marks for the log. But it's your bird, your call. Thanks for your time, Bob. Does he expect us to take this offer? <laughs> right? And, what? and if you want me to package that thing securely and safely enough that it doesn't arrive at your place broken again, again, it's going to cost me damn near 50 bucks. Everyone's like, I smell an in ad. Bye, Bob. Oh, exactly. Bob, you is out of you just, I'm a block. You know Bob. what? You are not. I'm not selling you this duck, Bob. <laughs> And the thing, the fact that the metal for four fifty, so ours is what is that four hundred? Yeah. So I priced it at four hundred, take offers, but it has sold. This duck, this, this exact size, thing has sold for the exact bucks. duck by the exact for four fifty. Yeah. So yeah. don't come at me, Bob. <laughs> like there's gonna be a collector somewhere that wants this freaking duck, so that he can actually use it for its intended purpose, right. which is 
the decoy. Shooting ducks, that's right. Duck hunt. All right. Bob probably is like playing Nintendo out there with his. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Bob, you are not the father. Everyone is capitaling Bob. Block Bob. Block Bob. <laughs> yes, exactly. You guys just saw the duck. It's beautiful. He does not need to be talked about that way. <laughs> His beak broke, okay? Right. He's still hand-carved and beautiful. I agree with that. That is a masterpiece. All right. It's 1036. We're it's working. Friday. We're getting out of here. We're going to go block Bob. We're going to go block Bob and watch some TV and play with the cats. Wait, what uh, was that show called? Do you remember the show? What show? Queen of the... Queen of the South. Queen of the South. Got it. Uh, everybody have a wonderful weekend. Yes. Bye.